Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solutions Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Show number 584, a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer, have you seen her eyes today? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna, Sam, I'm going to put your camera on. Everybody look at Samantha's eyeballs. They're so cool looking. She's definitely the youngest and coolest of the show. <laughs> but that's... Uh, that. That's Won't objective. last long. No, right, no, yeah. no. The window is closing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Butler's here. Hey, Butler. Hello. Soon she'll uh, be as curmudgeon as the rest of us. Well, I mean, that's not going to be because, uh, or not going to be because of us. It's going to be because of her husband. Yeah, okay. It'll be a combination. A mm. little bit, a little bit. Getting but, curmudgeon uh, from all angles. But hey, welcome to the show, everybody. And it's a big Friday. It's the Friday free show, TomandDan.com. We are live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Live. I see your wife. <laughs> knows, what, knows what time we start the show. Hey, what she's, you doing? She's uh, calling yeah, you right now to uh, ask you the quintessential, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. it's, uh, it blows my mind. Uh, 12.09, right, and 12. the phone <laughs> rings, and then she'll get mad if you don't answer. <laughs> oh, and yeah, it's like, but, mad but right right now. Way here. So we, we've like, started why this. Why is this <laughs> piece of shit picking up? Oh, I'm, I'm divorcing him. you. And he's it's cheating like, on me. He's working. <laughs> okay. But uh, hey, welcome to the show, TomAndDan.com. We're live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Live. We get hundreds of people in the Twitch chat room right Right now, the replay will be up later on YouTube. Just search Tom and Dan Live if you miss these shows. They're fun to watch. And what I'm finding out is that people, a lot of people bank these and then wait till like maybe a Saturday morning and just put us on the big TV. Hey, however you consume the show is okay with us. Yep. Uh, we also have new merch on TomandDan.com. We got the Lego Man shirt. Uh, which is me and Daniel's two mm-hmm. little Lego men. I got it on today. Yeah, Daniel's got it on. Oh, uh, new cool. ACT shirt, the Van Dennis election shirts. Um, Boy, those I, are selling well, right? It's yeah. almost like we should have actually run for some sort of office. We're you gonna, might as well. Uh, I yeah, mean, right. I think we can do a lot of good. I don't want to do that fucking job. <laughs> no, no, not <laughs> president. I mean, like, I would Anything. be like, uh, I would be like um, tax collector, Orange County. Nah, no. It still feels like Bunch a bunch of, of I don't think you do anything. Yeah, every, that guy, the no, guy in Seminole. Some papers. I mean, locally here, the guy in Seminole County, that guy was as corrupt as you get. He, oh, yeah. he, I like he that. He was having fun. Ooh. He was like fake IDs and stealing money, yeah, and it yeah, was yeah. insanely cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Short lived, um, though. I never liked how you could write your taxes to the, his name. Right. Like, I, was I, don't like, like I don't want to do that. I don't that. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, also don't I want to write to a guy. department. Yeah. yeah. I also yeah. don't like that the, there's a gas pump lady. You ever been pumping your gas and you look on the pump? Yes. And it's like, this gas pump is. I don't know, uh, taken care of or ruled over by, and it's like she has some weird nickname Susan, too. I've never like, seen this. Right? Nikki yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanchez or something. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Nikki like, something. Yeah, yeah, it's Nikki. Who's Nikki Sanchez? And she <laughs> no, I'm why get, is she I'm in charge? Her name wrong, but it's like they put her nickname in there, and it's like Florida Gas Commission or whatever. And it's like by Susan Nikki Sanchez, and I see it, and I get fucking mad <laughs> every time I see it. I'm like, who are you? And why? What are you? Why are you on my Wawa pump? Her name's Nikki Fried. Nikki Fried. Mm. And she, who is she? She's the gas lady. <laughs> she does the gas thing. Uh, what, what is? What is she, Sam? Uh, Nicole Nikki Fried, commissioner. Of gas? Of uh, Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. She's the gas queen. <laughs> okay. I, was like, I never even knew that someone was in charge. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Someone's of, in charge of everything. Of gas pumps. Spends all her day putting stickers on gas pumps. <laughs> yeah. 
But anyway, um, yeah. uh, is there any business we got to get out of the way um, before? You forgot to mention the old uh, the boat flag that we got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're getting there. Flag. I don't know if you've noticed, but this has been a rough that. week for old TV over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 I yeah. do know. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, TCV has been taking it. Uh, man, I don't think I've ever seen you, <laughs> you beat down this low. <laughs> it's... Uh, this morning was something else too. The, yeah, the boat flag. Yeah, but this morning was just uh, dropping the boat. You re- remember the show that came out like three years ago or so? Where David Cross did a show, and it was like the increasingly bad decisions of. Oh, and yeah, then the guy's yeah. name. Yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. decent show, but it was just like how things would get in, spiral. He, yeah. yeah, he'd lie and it'd get worse, and then he'd do something and it would get worse, and the yeah. whole show was like. I stopped watching it because it would just give me anxiety. Yeah, yeah, you know, because yeah, right. I'm just like, why no, the fuck? I love David Cross. Your but business partner is doing he, he's doing. an acquired taste. You know, he he will send you to the polls. You know, either you're gonna love him or hate him. You're not. Yeah. There's no gray area with that guy. And the show is hard to watch. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. hard to watch. Yeah. And you, well, it's hard to live. You, my friend, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to live. Well, the show. Life. No, nothing's funnier than that. <laughs> we'll see you next week. It is. Uh, it's the, Todd okay. Margaret. Yeah, the increasingly bad decisions of Todd Margaret or something like that. You are that guy. So, uh, anyway, uh, yesterday Mm -hmm. um, I I get home and uh, there's some, you know, this whole remodel thing has been uh, just, I mean. Can I ask you a question? Everybody said it's the cliche. I hate cliches when they're right. Because it's everything I'm against, which is like people knowing how things are gonna happen. It's like this will happen. They're like, not gonna happen to me. I'll yeah, do it differently, and yeah. it's not. It's kind of like what I said to her, you and Ross in the car getting out of an Orlando City. He was dropping us off at Orlando City. It was like no, day, days before argue. my daughter was born, and I was like, this will never stress me out. I'll never be like you guys. You guys are fucking right. <laughs> you both are right. I owe you and Ross an apology. I'll give him one when he calls in later today. <laughs> um, um, so, but anyway, uh, that everybody told me like, oh, it, there's going to be delays. There's going to, it's going to be a nightmare. And like, I'm like, oh, that's I, I don't see how it, like everything's good. And mm-hmm. then of course, but also uh, like, can, can I ask you a, nobody's fault? A, it's just a, what happened. A like question. A, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I, I would assume it's your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Me too. Now, would you? And please, <laughs> and, and I know you're going to give me the honest answer because you're not a it's liar. And I, I'm certainly not at all. I want to, I want to make sure I preface. I am not trying to make this worse. I am not at all trying to do. And I told you so or anything. No, yeah, yeah. Would this, the entire thing, have gone maybe a little smoother? Because you're, you're coming in for a landing. You got a couple uh-huh. more pieces. Would this have gone sm- more smooth had you had a specific? I don't Just even know what this person's called, like contractor. A, 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 contractor, a contractor, or if yeah. you'd had like a project manager or or somebody that controls the parts, rather than because you told me that you and Crystal talked about it, and with her knowledge of homes, which is true, she she mm-hmm. is Bart Merrick fast tracked her to the point where there's not much about a house she doesn't know. Yeah, she yeah. has a lot of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. And you told me that you thought you and her could be the project manager on this yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and do everything. Oh, I'm sure. Would it have been easier with a project manager? Absolutely. I'm sure it would. Now, could the problem still be there? Probably. But he'd be dealing with it. Yeah. Uh, also, it would cost us who knows how yeah. much more money. That's Ten more thousand. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I definitely screwed it up. But I'm <laughs> dealing. That's not the regardless. Uh, so I, I'm just dealing with some things, whatever. So I'm already in a like kind of frantic ADD irritated mood where it's like that this and this I'm overwhelmed, you know? Yeah. You've been like that mm. for about a month. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then I'm, I'm, I'm down on my knees. I'm like, I got my old man pop up glasses on. I'm looking at a <laughs> screw. I'm trying to. And then wait, you're doing the remodel. What's <laughs> no, happening? Well, I'm just doing. So I, anyway, the uh, then my wife standing there watching me, and I'm down there like huffing and puffing at a screw. <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh yeah, the storage unit charged you again," <gasps> and uh, and it was my boat storage. Now, and this is what set it off. Like I, oh. it, it, for whatever reason, it was the catalyst to uh, to drive me insane like the, the, yeah. this it was like the the, the last straw, straw. Yeah. <laughs> like it was what like remember falling down when uh it's a michael douglas gets yeah, out michael of the douglas. car like, it is indeed there was yeah. something that put him over the edge and that it doesn't have to be much either yeah, is yeah. what i've learned like in in with me especially it doesn't yeah. have to be much like yeah. i mean if something as small as like butler just walk past the door and yeah. i'm like what <laughs> So, and the reason why it put me over the edge is because Rewind back in, uh, I believe, April, 
um, when, uh, you know, COVID run strong, if it was stronger now, but it was like, you know, COVID's for the first going on, whatever. Fresh. I decided to, to move my boat. I had it in some storage, uh, like basically uh, just a parking space, a gravel mm-hmm. parking space that yeah. I paid for over at some storage place that I'll tell you about. <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, I had it there. And then I decided I'm going to put it over in the coast because everybody's taking their boat out and I'm, I don't want to battle the ramps every single time. I, you know, so I was like, I'll just put it in a marina. It, you know, it's a couple hundred dollars more a month, but well, you were, save you, me the pain in the ass. And you're also trying to get in the water faster. The whole idea is to get in the water with the family. Yeah. Yeah. And optimize the amount of time you're going to have yes, because, in the boat. Yes. Because I, it, and I agreed with this. I was like, finally, he's doing yeah. what I wanted him to because do. three times at that boat ramp fighting with uh, my wife uh screaming at each other and the, the the insane amount of stress it is trying to get your boat back on the ramp when there's uh 30 other boats in just waiting in queue and people are honking yelling at each other yeah. it's like it's like i will pay a couple hundred dollars to not have to I, do this each I, month i think know? most people would you so, know like i have been with you what 25 times doing that yeah, yeah. and it's not fun yeah. every time it's yeah. not fun every time it's like the beginning it's the bookends the beginning yeah. of your trip and the end of your trip are the worst. hella ske- yeah. Uh, yeah. sketchy you're looking out for cops you're like, the cops are uh, but the problem, check. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the problem is that's what you remember you know yeah, what i mean yeah, like yeah. you have the best day on the boat but you know, get into some altercation the- crystal has to jump off the boat we'd have to pull the boat up crystal would have to get out run sprint for the truck and the trailer, pull yeah. it back around. Like, oh, yeah, it's yeah. a mess. Then trailer the boat all the way back uh, to Orlando. Paying well, us. that's the hard part. Yeah, and then uh, I was like, lugs exploding. It's probably fifty dollars yeah. more in gas uh, each trip to do trailer. Anyway, so I there uh, I decided I'm going to take it out of this uh, storage place and put it in the marina. So I called up the storage place, and there's an older gentleman. That works there wasn't there when I was originally signed up for this, like in February. Yeah, but I guess he had started working there, and I'll just Good call him, him Bob, old man Bob, old man mm-hmm. Bob. So I called up, and he's old man Bob. This is old man Tom. <laughs> and he was old man Bob was super nice. Uh, old man Bob was and, super nice. And I said Bob him on the phone and I talked to him twice. <laughs> and I said Bob, I need to. I'm moving my boat to the coast because of COVID. To the coast. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to cancel my uh, storage unit space. And uh, you know, per the rules, you just, you know, you need a 15 day notice. I'm here to give you the 15 day notice. Oh, and, look at you following the rules. And Bob said, "No problem, Mr. Van. Uh, sorry to see you go. Let me uh, put this in the system. Whatever." And he's like, "Oh, you're moving. Uh, you're you're taking the boat to the coast." He's like, "Lucky." We started small talking about the coast. Oh, he really did, oh, like yeah, Teen yeah, Girl. Yeah. Lucky. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, and this was uh, over the phone. I could tell it was older gentleman, right? Oh, okay, yeah. So he's like, "All right, we'd small talk, small talk, small talk." I, old man Bob was a nice man. And, what can I do you for? And like then, one of those yeah. kind of guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, "All right," and he's like, "I don't have to do anything else." He's like, "No, you're all set. Uh, we hope to see you back. If you ever, uh, you know, want to store your boat again, you know, you're welcome to." I was like, "Thanks, Bob." You call old Bob. Thanks, Bob. And then I uh, hung up the phone, and I'm like, "Well, that's that." Uh, then I put my boat in the marina, and then and, you know, uh, all that. and then they use it weekly. We so, know that. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> what mysterious koozies you find out there. So about uh, uh, three weeks later in May, uh, Crystal tells me like, "Hey, the storage place charges you again because they, they had my credit card on auto charge, right?" Yeah, yeah. And then so I, I was like, "Oh, well, that's weird." I you know I I canceled little Bob. It was probably a misunderstanding. They probably had me in the system. Whatever. Called up. Uh, and Bob answers hey, the phone, Bob. and then I'm like, I'm like, hey, Bob, it's Tom. Remember the guy that's moving his boat? To the and he remembered this time, and he's oh, like, yeah. he, and he's like, oh yeah, oh right, Tom, hey yeah. And then I'm like, hey, I got charged again on my card. It's probably just a misunderstanding. And he's like, oh, oh, that's weird. And then so he gets back on his computer, and he did this thing that I know he's doing because I do it when I don't know what I'm fucking doing, which is just stare at your computer. And then we hope that it does something, but it, because you don't know what it is. So you're solving the problem through the powers of wishing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, right. because you're an well, old man and you have no idea how to use the fucking thing you're using. Please kill me <laughs> so, in my brain. So when someone else is telling you to do something and then you're like, all right, let me see what I can do here. And then Maybe you're just looking at If I stare hard enough <laughs> at the cursor, my brain will turn off. Yeah, you, you put your old man glasses oh, on. Oh, there you go. 
yeah, yeah. And then and then you're just looking at the computer, and then the person's looking at you, and you're just looking at the computer, and like his fingers are not moving, he's not doing anything. What I don't hear doing? any tapping. Yeah, yeah. So he tells me he's like, all right. He's like, uh, and then I go through the whole spiel again. He's like, okay. He's like, yeah, I remember you canceled it. He's like, that, you know, no problem. You I'll get canceled it, but I I couldn't figure out how to put it in the system. And so I, I just sh- close my computer. And I still can't. And when you walk away, I will not do anything. <laughs> so <laughs> he, uh, he, then he's, he's typing, typing, typing. He's all over the phone. He's like, all right, I got you taken care of. You're out of the system. Well, he should now, refund. Now, was this the time you were talking to him when we were in the office? No, no, that uh, was well, the third time. I'll get to that okay. one. <laughs> but he should have refunded the uh, Well, yeah, I told right. him that. I, I asked him, I was like, can you refund? He's like, yep, yeah, I'll got it. No problem. He's yep. like, a, just a simple couple clicks here yeah, simple one two three <laughs> and he yeah. but he, he's acting by the way this is how every medical marijuana doctor is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, i'm sorry right. i'm sorry they don't, know, fuck. they yeah. don't know how to run their computers they fucked me last yeah. time. i mean my last appointment yeah. for my mar- medical marijuana i don't mind talking about this i actually just give me the computer oh, yeah. and i went in there and i just made all yeah because they yeah. they approved me but then didn't put it into the system yeah. so when i got to the dispensary they're like you haven't been reapproved. I'm yeah, like, yeah. give me that pop. Uh, I know how to do it. I'll click all the yeah, yeah, click, yeah. click, click, yeah. click. I'll auto sign it. Just do yeah. it. Because by the way, old man Bob, like you're saying, all right, uh, just a few clicks of uh, the, bo-. and then I'm like, I hear you not clicking anything because <laughs> I heard you earlier. I know you typing, hard tap <laughs> typing in your password a few times, and you probably are still looking at the password screen. Yeah, yeah, you're locked out, is what happened. Anyway, so <laughs> that was the second time, and then I was like, all right, uh, and then uh, another month goes by. That was June. So then July, the mm. beginning of July. COVID Bill Adventures with Tom. Crystal texts me again. She's like, hey, storage hit again. <laughs> and then I was like, fuck. And she likes it's these, It's like a right? game to her. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, she likes it when, when he fucks up and yeah, she yeah. can So like, this was the time that you made the call from the studio. Yes. Yeah. We and, were all here for right. that. And yeah. so I, I I, even made the joke with you guys. I said, like, hey, watch. I'm going to call the storage. They're like, this is the third time this has yeah. happened. This is it. I'm talking watch to old and Bob. learn. Watch. A, I got the gumption to die. So I put it on speakerphone. <laughs> and each time I called Bob, he had less recollection of me and who I was. Well, or he's a dumb old man. <laughs> he's dying. He's right. dying, Tom. And so if you guys remember, I called him on oh, speakerphone. Bob doesn't even so work good. there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so I said, hey, Bob. Grand, it's a talking cat. <laughs> my grandson works here, and he just leaves me here because I have dementia. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, I called him on speakerphone. You guys heard. I went through yeah. the whole spiel. Yeah. I was like, Bob, this is the you know, third time now. And, Halfway uh, through the call, you just put your head down on the desk yeah, yeah, yeah. because he does the same yeah, well, that's thing that's what he does with tony because because i tell him not to do that because he's like oh right. he's like what's your space number again i'm like oh, god it's damn number, it it's, bob it's 9 30 bob and he's like all right now and then he's like you want to cancel your space and i'm like no bob i canceled it three months ago and we have a conversation you. <laughs> with you, you and dumb I, old man and i called you after one month after two months this is after three months and they're still charging my please oh, take bob. my credit card Come out on, bob. of the system there's got to be Bob. a way. Stop charging me. And then he's like, all right, I'm sorry. Then, then he's like, I'm, I'm just deleting everything here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, I, remember? Remember? Yes. All right, and I, he's like, I deleted your I name. Took everything. Your, I took every account that we have and I, <laughs> I drug it into the recycle bin. And I basically have, we have no files for anybody right, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever again. Yeah, yeah. So that was the beginning of July, right? And uh, so then, then we had the whole... Uh, remodel all the shit, move to Airbnb, all this chaos, whatever. So we hadn't been keeping track of, yeah. you know, looking at every charge and shit. So then, yeah, but fast before forward that, to before yesterday, that you were eagle eye crazy. Right? Like, <laughs> that let's, was be, my yeah, yeah, let's be honest. I have no idea of anybody. <laughs> before that, them. it was like, before yeah. they go to bed every night, they'd get together and as a family and go through every charge on the card for that day. So uh, <laughs> fast forward to yesterday, screw Huffin' and Puffin, and that they, they charge you again. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> no! <laughs> like I goddamn lost it. You yeah. came I, in hot yesterday. You did come in real hot. So I was like, I, and then Chris was like, why are you so upset? I'm like, I can't. <laughs> like it, I just. Oh, and then she's like, uh, I like it. She's like, why are you so upset? Because it's the fucking fifth time these yeah, yeah, assholes yeah. have charged I, me. Oh, what then, do you mean? Why am I so upset? You just told me. You so, know why I'm upset. So I, I. <laughs> You were the deliverer of bad news. 
yeah. I don't like to get upset in front of my sons because I don't want them to be them to get upset or like ha- you know. They get see turned. mad, dad like, yeah. gets yeah. scared. You should see the things Macy <laughs> sees. Oh my god! So I, I walked, <laughs> you should just see what she sees. I I walked into the garage, <laughs> the hot garage. Oh, just, what'd uh, you just do? To, Start punching the well, French witch. I wanted. To, she's like screamed in your pillow. Crystal's like, don't punch anything because she, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go in there and punch the That's story. That's funny but that you are a puncher. Yeah, you're a puncher. So I I yeah. Yeah, uh, he is a little choppery. I, I wanted to go punch everything, but I just got in there. I was like, ah! and then I screamed into a blanket. And mm. then I, uh, <laughs> that does help. <laughs> Oh, then she's like, oh, by the way, Orlando Sentinel sent you to collections. <laughs> <laughs> so the Orlando right, Sentinel, right. I thought you canceled that. Yeah, I, I, well, I thought I did, too. That's You're a, bad at canceling. You but, are but, bad at canceling. But, but, by the way, the Orlando Sentinel thing, uh, get it to fucking together, Orlando <laughs> Sentinel. Your, char- your whole plan to save your business is to sit some fucking guy in uh, Ace Hardware and try to solicit people getting subscriptions with $5 Ace Hardware giveaway. I know it worked on me. Yeah. It fucking worked. And yeah. I didn't even want to. I, mean, I felt bad for the guy. The guy's like, hey, he's like, hey, do you want to sign up for a lint? I'm like, I don't do, I don't read that. He's like, yeah, but he's like, this would help me out. He's like, begging me. I we told this with John Busticker, but the show got lost. But uh, he was like, he's like, I got a five dollar Ace Hardware gift card. You can have right now. Just sign up. And I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't read it. I don't. Need it. He's like, come on. He's like, I'll give you two, buddy. Come on. And he like, oh he's begging God. me. And I was like, fine. He was giving me a two, like ten dollar gift card. It was thirteen dollars for the year. I was like, oh, that's fine. Then the oh, goddamn God. Sentinel started showing up, and Daniel. Put put it on my seat every morning. Well, because <laughs> it's a trash. I know. Well, I deserve it's it. It's a log of trash. I, yeah, I deserve it. Sitting, it's a, it's yeah. a paper log of trash. Listen, I know. And then I, I took it on my seat for a good uh, 10 days. And then I was like, that's it. I've had it. And I called them and I canceled it. And then I haven't, I haven't even seen the newspaper and uh, some somehow they they re-upped my subscription or some shit. They're charging you for a ghost and, paper, <laughs> and then and then char- and then sent me a bill that I obviously didn't pay. Out of, and then they sent, did... me, sent me to fucking collections. That's <laughs> fucking That's hilarious. Pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That awesome. yeah, that that'll save awesome. your business, Orlando Sentinel. Anyway. So back to Bob. Um, <laughs> a couple of questions from okay, chat since right. we we did hit a a, a reset point. Um, Tracy wants to know why you didn't uh, get a hold of the manager. You know, you're dealing with storage place. She's Mm. right. You're dealing with third time. Third time's basically when most people take action, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, because I every time I talked to Bob, he assured me that it was being taken care of and he had something he's like I don't know why the, oh, it was a glitch in the system well, was I know always, why what is you it don't fool me once <laughs> fool me <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't know but it's like Bob you're I, fool I, me I know <laughs> you're in over your head computer wise Bob you, yeah, you yeah. have no idea yeah. what you're doing and you're a dumb old man yeah 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 that's yeah, why yeah yeah I know but it, to me he was telling me it's like oh, it's, it's done it's for sure done <laughs> and then so but that's why I lost it because I was like this motherfucker either is so dumb he can't use a computer yeah. or is lying to me and like didn't know how to take me out and then told me it was done and then I get charged again. Right. But at this point, now it's you're, uh, you're coming at me, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> no, I agree. You're, I agree. Fucking, like, you're not going to tell me again that you're, this is never going to happen again for the fourth time. I'm, I can't take it. Other people are uh, commenting <laughs> this is full orb. Bob is incompetent. <laughs> Fuck Bob. Uh, um, then oh. uh, uh, Jeremy C says, uh, go see Bob in person. Oh, well, that's what I did yesterday. Great. Um, this is awesome. Uh-oh. And that's why I came in so flustered. So anyway, uh, I guess that was Wednesday night, the whole I found out of Bob and the Orlando <laughs> Sentinel thing. And then I, I went into the hot garage, screamed into a towel. And then uh, bright and early Thursday morning, I couldn't wait to drive over there. <laughs> by the way. Punch this old man? By the way, I drove over there. Like I went and got my smoothie, drove over there. I, I got there at 8.59, waiting for the one minute at nine. And then I got my mask on, walked over the door at 9.30. I was like, nah. <laughs> 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 I was like, who the fuck opens at 9.30? <laughs> what? Wait, I've open never, at nine, you I've piece of shit. I've never heard that. <laughs> like, never. You, we open a half an hour later than every other business. That's our motto. What the fuck, dude? And I was like, God. I go back into my car and then I'm like, what do I just wait here? And like wait, and Bob pulls up and they're they gonna see me and then I'm like too aggressive. We're live on Twitch. People mm. are commenting on how Bob deflated your pompadour. <laughs> your hair is mm. your hair is greasier and more <laughs> frazzled than it. I mean you look uh, I've never seen him. Mush the pump. Uh, well, yeah, here's here's the thing. We're not used to the listeners aren't used to seeing an angry Tom yeah. for the last eleven years. I've been the angry member of the show. Right. Yeah. And you're seeing a switch. Yeah. Uh, so we must have both peed into a fountain when lightning struck it because you're seeing 
a difference in you, man. So I drove home <laughs> because it's close enough to my house. I drove home. I was going to say, how I, fucking I, I walked in and Chris like, it's a dawn or I'm like, no, they don't open until fucking 930. I'm like, speaking of that, I got to go. <laughs> 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 Why did you go home? I drove back. <laughs> because I didn't know where to go. I didn't want to sit there and wait. No, you, you didn't have like an w- errand to run? Dude, no. I got to teach you how to harness your anger. You don't go home and see your sons. That'll diminish <laughs> anger. You sit in the parking lot yeah. and, stew. and you stew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you don't listen to music. Music. You yeah. don't listen to talk radio. You sit in silence and you stew and you make that anger bigger than it's ever been. You inflate it like bread. When you're making yeah. pizza crust, you have to let it sit. You have to let it rise. So I uh, I go back there at 930. Uh, I put the fucking mask on, walk over there. there. Uh, is Bob in there? I open the door, and there's Bob there sitting there behind his is. desk. No mask, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> fuck uh, you, Bob. D- d- dumb old man. <laughs> and then I'm like, why well, put the fucking all the COVID-19 posters on the front door saying right. everybody should wear masks and all masks? You don't have one on. And then you no, don't have one They're covering on. up people looking in to see he's not wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, put yeah, the posters right. over the window. I don't give a shit, but don't put the fucking posters up. Anyway, so I walk in there. And then there's Bob sitting there. And the original lady, it was another uh, older lady, um, which may God, old I, this whole yeah, storage <laughs> units. And I uh, and there's Bob, and he's like, "Hey, what can I do you for?" They don't like you. Yeah, fuck that guy. And then so I sit down. And I'm like, I'm like, "Hey, Bob, it's it's me, hey, Tom. Hey, working hard or hardly working." And then so I, I I did that thing where like I'm heated, like I was start get... shaking like <laughs> we did. <and laughs> <Yeah>. immediately... <laughs> Didn't shake, but I could tell like. I'm coming off probably aggressive, aggressive yeah. uh, because of you I'm kn- irritated. What did you start but with? Tom you Van. know why I'm here. <laughs> Mm. Uh, so I think I, I, and I usually don't do that because I, I'm a firm believer that in any conversation, negotiation, anything you do, uh, you, if you start uh, amping up yeah. your aggression, they will. If you escalate, they escalate. Yeah, and it'll just escalate to a point of no communication. Well, then you're not getting anything done. Exactly. But yeah. I, I, you turn to the lady and you say, "Ma'am, you're gonna want to step outside." <laughs> So you're about to see some things no. and hear some things that will change the way that you live your life. So I go into the spiel. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Bob, uh, I talked to you on the phone in April. I canceled this in May and I got charged in uh, May. Every and then in June, month. I called you every month and Bob, you didn't remember. And you said it was taken care of. I called you May. I called you June. I called you July in front of my coworkers because I was laughing. Oh, that just keeps that? Happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Don't uh, drag uh, me into it. Oh, and I could tell, like, immediately he's getting old man mad. You're trying right? to make me look bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because he must be, like, the new employee or some shit, and the older lady is, like, the manager or whatever. Oh, but, and you were dressing him down right, in front, in front of, of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In front of Gertie. I, I was explaining how this is ridiculous right. that every you single time. You have every time, right to be frustrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, then. No. And then he's I like, want to know what part he played in the frustration. So though. then, then th- this is what really amped up the the, the situation. When he pulled out his gun because when Gertie turned to him and says, "Beat him up!" So that. right off the bat, he's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! What space do you have?" No, <laughs> and he's like, and he's like thirty, and he's like, "You want to cancel it now?" And I'm like, "No, Bob, I, I've canceled you listen it." Listen to anything I yeah. fucking said. Yeah, oh, yeah. I would have lost. And, it. and then he's like, "Well, this company doesn't like giving refunds, so I don't know if you're gonna get like he's immediately." Well, I'm getting a refund, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that started if I have saying, to chew it out of your ass, and, and then and. Then and he's like, and then I'm like, Bob, I told you this four months ago. He's like, well, I, I just started working here four months ago. I didn't know how to do this. And well, then, then ask <laughs> somebody, you motherfucker. And then, Whoa. And then, Hold and, on. And then uh-uh. he said, and then he's like, I didn't know how to do this four months ago. It's nobody's fault. And then it's like, it's, no, it's nobody's fault. And I, go, I go, Bob, it's your fault. This is your fault, Bob. <laughs> oh, you said that? I'm like, this is 100% your fault, Bob. Oh. It's nobody else's fault but Bob's. <laughs> yes. I want this top, security top, footage. Top, 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 top. Uh, and uh, and hell then, yeah. then it dawned on me. Oh, oh I just got hard. Yeah, you know, weird I got fucking yeah. hard. Oh, man. then oh, he I'm started raising, on right now. Then Make the, love to then me. Then the old lady manager came over <laughs> to oh defuse the situation, me. and she. So, but fairlish, fairlish. Then I, then I realized I was like, you know that, you know how like uh, old people try to like uh, uh, stereotype millennials by saying they don't take any uh, accountability for any yeah. responsibility for anything. <laughs> I've realized that that may be somewhat true with younger people, but that's case by it's case. Just people but in it's, general, yeah, it's that's a, case by case. It's case by case. It, it's a bad trait to have. To, it is to never accept responsibility, and it's the worst trait to have. And I hope I could teach my ki- my boys, if any other thing, just 
always take responsibility. We always blame ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Blame it's yourself. It's a better way to live. If if someone kills me by accident one day, I'll blame myself for walking in front of the car no, or I understand. or standing where like I'll just I'll find a way to blame myself. Well, because that way when you do have to get in one of these scenarios where you're talking to a bob, at least you eliminated your part like anything that you could have fixed that was your problem yeah, yeah. that you had caused. You can try to fix that. No, I agree yeah. with you. I so, mean, I, I so even how did him. it? Did it end up getting? Oh well, yeah. He did uh, he back down. What did he say? No, he yelled they, at him that it was his fault. Normally oh, no, they back got, down. He got flustered and then he was like, "Oh, well, whatever." Oh, you know, like he was getting old man mad, and then I was saying, "It's your fault, Bob. It's your." Fault. And I wasn't yelling at him. I was just like, "It's on you, Bob. It's yeah, your it, fault, Bob." You because calm, I, w- I didn't uh, like. I wasn't gonna let him say it's nobody's fault. Because right. It, it is hundred percent your fault. fault. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I couldn't you believe did that. this old man said. That. I and, can't believe you did that. So then the uh, the like the lady manager came over and she was trying to do the customer service because this fucker didn't have any like he wasn't like oh I'm sorry it could have you could have defused to be like oh sh- I'm sorry you know what man I, heard? I you this know what was I, I had just started yeah, yeah. I should have no, asked someone but I didn't you start off with it this company doesn't give refunds so I don't see yeah it. I'm like what are you talking about <laughs> I already got a refund for yeah. the last three months let's deep dive which, into by the this way, a didn't. little bit <gasps> uh, six hundred dollar that he never gave me the refunds which he just was, said he was refunding it he didn't. Even, I he did nothing. He didn't even understand no, he, how to work the computer. Uh, let's think, think about. Let's, let's analyze this a little or, bit. He was lying. Here, <laughs> here's here's how you know. And I, I would bet my daughter, my life, anybody's life on this. I, here's how you know. Too many details. He remembered you, and when he said to you, because I believe what you're saying. Yeah. When he said to you, "Well, I only started here four months ago, and I didn't know how to do that." Yeah, you remembered not knowing how to do that. What you're hearing with yeah, the anger, yeah, 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 why yeah, yeah. it ratcheted up. You know what you're you're getting a dose of. Bob knows he, he fucked up, yeah. oh, and, he's taking, and, and, and he's taking that out on you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he know he Which remembered is another horrible. He trait remembered to have. everything. He remembered you calling. Right. He remembered the fuck ups. Oh, yeah, he yeah. fucked up. Yeah. It would have been easier for him in that scenario to be like, you know what? I remember but, all of this. I screwed it up. I'll take care of it right now. In fact, I'm gonna hand you over to Gertie here. She knows the system yeah. better. <laughs> She'll get you taken care of. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm really, really sorry. And by the That's way, it. then yeah. you're done. I don't even know if it's fixed yet. Uh, oh, I, I was supposed God. to call this morning. If not, talk. we're raiding the goddamn storage <laughs> well, unit. Why don't we're you call it live on the air right <laughs> now? Call Bob. Why don't we put a little explanation point <laughs> on the end of this segment? Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. If I call him on the show and I have to tell him he's on the show or whatever, then I'm I'm worried that mm. they're going to be like, fuck this guy. Because they could essentially probably tell me like, well, you didn't. I mean, who knows? Maybe there's some sort of clause in those contracts. Like, you got to send a written. You uh, told us it was 15 days. Yeah, but that's for call. They could. I mean, Bob could be like, I never heard. He could lie. No, I guess, want, right? No, no. He could. Do you want us to send? Okay, you have anyway, two choices here. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. We can send late. Seth Petrozelli down to finish Ooh. this. Or we can send Remy down to finish this. So, Your choice. Well, no, no. So speaking <laughs> of that, so then they printed out a form, and I'm like, I made the uh, the, the lady so, like sign something on bottom saying that I moved out. Like I wanted something in paperwork so that they're not going to yeah. claim that I didn't do it. So she signed something. Then I got in the she car. Signed the bottom of your plan of smoothie nap. And, <laughs> you know, and I'm heated, and I, I get in, and I'm like this motherfucker, and then I'm driving, and then I call Crystal, and then she's <laughs> like, "What happened?" I'm like, "I was yelling at that old motherfucker," and then I, then I was like, "I." I, I I wish, I wish Bob would have gotten up and uh, started uh, like, "Come at me, bro!" I would You're have punched. You're itching it. to hit somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, and then I was like, I was gonna punch his goddamn hearing aids out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, and then Chris is like, "What's wrong with you? <laughs> you have a mental illness." And, <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> and that's when you, when you come like swiftly walking Here's in like. yesterday. I have a mental yeah. illness. I'm he looked, mad. Yeah. He looked so worn down. Well, his yeah. hair was straight and, <laughs> and wet. And he had and sent it, us yeah. a text that said. <laughs> And, uh, I ha- I've had lots of problems today. Yeah. Um, and then when he gets in here, he's shaking his head, and we're like, "Are you all right?" And he just starts laughing, and he goes, "My wife thinks I have a mental illness. I almost beat up an old man." We're like, "What? What yeah, happened?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and but like, what's funny but, is that you just act like I act all the time, and suddenly you have a mental illness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I never show emotion, and the one time I get mad, she's like, "What?" See, what this the, is what happens. This you is gotta not let, a you gotta let some of the emotion <laughs> eke out, or you're gonna explode and punch an old man's hearing aids out. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, no, but no. You, you scared Crystal because the thing that she wants the most is for you to be emotional, yeah, and when yeah. she finally gets it, she's like, "I don't know if I can handle it." <laughs> you know, too like much. It's, yeah. yeah, because it's on. It's and almost it's like a 
like a, you're like a young X Men that your powers are unbridled. You know, you're just blasting your <laughs> but, laser eyes everywhere. But, but, it's like you gotta learn how to use your powers. I'm, I'm man. not even screaming. I'm just fantasizing about punching right. Bob, and yeah, which which is. What I think most people do no. when they get upset, they I get, do. They're I like, wanna, I wish I could punch this guy. Always, You're never gonna do. I'm never gonna punch right. old See, man punching, Bob. Punching is not embarrassing enough to me. Mm-hmm. I I always take it one step further. Where pull the pants down. I, <laughs> Are we becoming like brother sister or some shit? <laughs> I, I would walk over <laughs> and I would lock pants the door. Up. I would lock the door My and I'd say, Gertie, I'd say, Gertie, I'm really sorry. That's when I pull out the gun. And I go, oh, you're oh, right. shit. <laughs> yeah. I pull, and I got a gun and I'm like, Bob, pull your pants down. <laughs> pull your pants. And he's like, what? And, and I'm then like, you shoot one in I the go, air. I go, listen, old man, pull your fucking pants down. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, what? And I'm like, I'm serious. And, I'm like, and then I unlock the door and I go, walk, go walk outside to the street. <laughs> Oh, that's too far. Go walk outside. And he's like, what? I've never. I'll fucking blow your head off, old man. Walk out to the goddamn street. Or I'll spill your goddamn cranium all over this fucking U-Haul. So get out there. And he goes out. (laughs) And he walks out. And I go, all right. Now waggle your cock to to oncoming traffic. I want you to waggle it good. You start fucking air humping, old man. Or I'm going to blow your goddamn brains all over 1792. This is uh, and Gertie's uh, like, I'm uh, calling the cop. Like, don't you fucking reach for the phone, Gertie, or I'll shoot you too. I don't think you know what the fuck's happening here. But you lay on the floor, and if I see you fucking move, I'm gonna shoot your snowman sweater right off your tit, you fucking bitch. That's what I would do. This is how people end up in prison, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you see how natural it comes? I'm nerd dad. You're eating your green beans in prison. They're like all for uh, because your store, your boat storage unit. Uh, They're like, what are you in for? I'm like, ah, I like, made uh, an old man wag his dick to oncoming traffic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, gunpoint, like possession of a firearm. Uh, like at that point, it's uh, I think you're taking hostages. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like you're kidnapping, armed kidnapping. Yeah. <laughs> well, I lead him oh, to yeah. the back. I'm like, at the end, I'm like, well, that was fun, Bob. Come on inside. Let's lock up. Bob, I'm going to need you and Gertie to walk to that uh, open U-Haul. Yeah, the one in the sun. And I'm just going to lock you guys in here and you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I pull the door down and I lock it. And uh, uh, then I have to abandon my family and uh, move to the Midwest somewhere and hide out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, Anything so. good to report? No, well, no, just a bunch of uh, that stuff, and uh, and uh, also I had a disappointing realization um, that uh, I may not be number one pool dad. Uh, oh, and I'll end with so this. Who else and, is in the running? Well, 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 you're you're the only one I know. I know, I know, and that I prided myself in being nobody parties one. at the pool like party pool dad. <laughs> yeah, 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 I yeah. mean, you're I, the king of the slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Backflips. all the toys, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Guns, guns, the mash, the squirt guns. Yeah, yeah. The music, Set up, the uh, TV, the yeah, crystals, uh, <laughs> uh, whatever the hell, the kitchen island she made. <laughs> then uh, they jump off. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, put Wait a yoga a mat on yeah, it. Yeah, and I see. Is I, your hot neighbor the new cool pool? No, guy? no, 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 no. no, no. Uh, they don't have a pool. Uh, so and then I see other BDMs. Should invite him over. Invite him over. Yeah, did I tell you he was uh, mowing the lawn with his yeah, uh, shirt he off? Did. <laughs> he said he was like dancing to the. <laughs> <pool>. <laughs> no, it was just like stereotypical. I pull up and. Hot look. dude mowing yeah, the lawn. They're all looking at every, uh, everybody in the neighborhood. All the, ha- looking all at the housewives. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't make a comment. I'm like, this is a, a goddamn Truman show. <laughs> Novelty yeah. ripped mowing the lawn, push lawnmower. Anyway, uh, so uh, I I always pride myself in being number one pool dad, and I saw other BDMs, and I respect the other BDMs pool ga- pool dad game and how, you know. Cause I'm, yeah, shout out to like Richard's a pool dad. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to yeah. think of other pool dads that we that. know. They, they've upped their game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Mark Larabelle's putting in a pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's soon to be like, I like yeah. look, ain't nobody going to kill that guy's pool game. And, and he so, comes hard. Yeah, and I see everybody else. It's a respectable pool game and yeah. i see it but i know deep down inside i'm number one pool dad. well wait a minute uh, you, now you're saying you're not well uh, i happened to be scrolling through instagram and i saw travis pastrana uh make an instagram post and he was in his pool with his kids and he, he was holding his daughter and he and then his daughter got into like a a ball and he's like all right uh you ready i forgot his daughter's name he's like all right double backflip and then he throws his daughter and she does a double backflip and then lands in the pool. And then I was like, fuck, <laughs> don't That's take it good. Patron- you got to stop comparing yourself huh? to Travis Pastrana your, yeah. whole, your whole life. Yeah, I, I guarantee you, he doesn't get to fight the hard <laughs> man of the U-Haul tour. <laughs> I know. But then I saw it. I was like, no, he got that too better than I can 
Her name my is son. Bristol. Oh, yeah, oh, Bristol. Oh, that's a good name. <laughs> like Bristol Motor Speedway. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so then I got in the pool the next day. No, no. And then I was like, all right, boys, what, who's going to do it? A double backflip type. And they're like, no, no, we don't want to do double oh, backflip. Don't force them. And I'm like, one we like, want to them. hang out inside with mommy and Bob. He's <laughs> Bob's here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom. And then, uh, and then I finally convinced Max uh, to, I'm like, I see Pastrana do it. Yeah. Like, and Max uh, is the uh, one. Yeah, yeah. We're, He's we're, the we're one. Because he'll agree. Like, Tommy's too smart. He'd be like, I don't know about this. It's yeah. too dangerous. Tommy's like, I did the math. I don't think, <laughs> yeah. my, uh, I, don't think I can make the rotation. Yeah, I'm yeah. like three degrees off. And then uh, <laughs> and then I choose Max because he's built like a small sandbag. Yeah. <laughs> like, Tommy's a big bird body. <laughs> like, you, you know what? God damn. I it's like throwing a <laughs> pipe cleaner. Yeah. Your boys are in here. And, and mm. Tommy, walking out the door, Tommy goes, salutations. And then Max, walking out the door, goes, dropping loads. <laughs> they could not be more different. So, it, uh, Tommy's more of a uh, Jack Skellington, and yeah. Max is Oogie Boogie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, that would be so good I, for I, Halloween. I, I was like, all right, Oogie Boogie, scrunch up, <laughs> and I'm gonna. I saw this. I yeah. saw Prashana do it. I'm gonna throw, and then I. I He's tried a gamer. To call. Max will go. He is a lot smaller than Travis Pastrana's daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well. Also heavier. He's dense. Well, he's dense. Yeah, he's I got think, that ass. Yeah, Travis Persona's daughter's thin and yeah. uh, it's tiny and uh, easy to throw at a double backflip. Anyway, I called Crystal out. I was like, film this for my Instagram. I mean, no, uh, no. I, Max oh. has like a Devontae Freeman running back ass. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's it's yeah, yeah. like he's grounded and he can cut. And then I'm holding him. I'm like, all right, you ready? I'm like, I'm going to use 100% of my strength. No, my not 100%. And then he started no, getting that nervous. That he's like, don't. Like, what if I land on my back? I'm like, don't you hold. He's if like, land on your back. I'll never see you again. <laughs> so you better give me a good kiss. I'm like, don't. Oh. Like, you have to stay talked. Stay talked if you can. And, and then he started crying. And he was like, no, no he didn't. Oh. Well, he's, he's like, he, then he got off. He's like, I'm not going to let you throw me. And I'm like, come on, don't. And then they ran out of the pool. And you're like, don't take this from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they wouldn't Mr. Let me Pepperlips is then, bullying his boys. Then I lost well, it. you've had a rough week, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, no, no, no more number. You want to do a bed. shot? Will that make you feel better? Yes. If we yeah. do a shot and uh, and Butler bumbles through a toast? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. do we want to talk about, uh, don't we have a deal going on with uh, Yeah, yeah. I think it's involved, in, it's involved yeah. in his toast. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apologies. That's okay. <clears throat> Cheers to your weekend kicking some ass with shark bite whiskey chilling in my glass. I, my friend, have had a hell of a week. I'm going to get high as an eagle and sword of the peak. Rock and roll 90210. Mm-hmm. He didn't mention the promotion. <laughs> we have uh, Sugar Works Distillery is doing an awesome shark bite whiskey promotion. Go there. I think there's a couple shirts left, but Ooh. they also have a ton of pint glasses. Buy any kind of bottle from uh, Sugar Works, Kalalisa Creek. Uh, Shark Bite, uh, Turnbull Bay, uh, their their rums are phenomenal, and uh, a free pint glass. So uh, while supplies last, go get it, man. Yep, yeah, yeah. You can get a free Tom and Dan BDM pint glass at Sugar Works in New Smyrna Beach. That's pretty tasty, but who is? Yeah, the cinnamon. Like it. Um, oh yeah. I instantly get like. Uh, Excited, like I need to. You know what? You want to toss me? Uh, I mean, we don't have double back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might as well do it upstairs bushes. with those kids because they're fucking yeah. back flipping off everything. Oh, yeah, in the yeah, bushes. Yeah, yeah. They're Asian kids, right? Little Asian kids. That's what Butler yeah. said, but yeah. he's also yeah. racist, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He calls every kid Asian. Like, <clears throat> um, let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see music. Why? Oh, guys. Um, we have been gifted tons. And ton, well, not tons, but more than we normally get music from BDM members. Um, so I'm going to have a lot more um, cool. listener music. If you are a listener and you have music, and I've done this before, but for whatever reason, um, it's in the air right now. Send us your music. I'll play it on the show. I would love to be able also, to do that. Also, if you're a, a musician and you're a BDM, we have a subgroup that's B, uh, BDM Musicman. Yeah, yeah. So join that group. I'm I just not saw even somebody in that, that uh, just posted this week that their album just went on Spotify. No, so really? Check that out. Cool. Yeah. Um, so today, I've got some good stuff, some local stuff, some BDM only stuff. This is Chris Wills. The name of the song is LA on My Mind. Like straight ahead, nice little blues track. So enjoy this, and we'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is new music from Dial Drive, an Orlando band. 
So buy their music, support all of these local bands that I'm are trying in. so hard. I know you were like, who is that? That's really, yeah. really good. They remind mm. me of Midtown. Yeah, they do. They do sound a little bit like Midtown. Hey, let's jump into something that um, I absolutely adore. I got to make sure I got this. Uh, when, did, 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 did I find the thing? Yeah, y'all, let's do it. Ross's piece of shit news. Ross's News Today brought to you by The Orlando Talk Show, Ross's Podcast, which you can find on any podcast service. Uh, you want to look on Apple Podcasts Indeed. or Google Play or Stitcher or anywhere you find podcasts, it's The Orlando Podcast with Ross McCoy. What's going on, Ross? Uh, we actually just signed a deal with the dollar store. We're going to be the first uh, podcast you can get at the dollar store. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's badass. Is it Dollar Tree or where you at? Uh, it's it's any store with dollar in the title. Gotcha. But, uh, it's free. You don't have to pay a dollar. So. Uh, cool. Out of all the dollar stores, Ross, which one do you prefer? That's a good question. <sighs> That's mm. I don't know because I honestly don't look at anything other than the dollar on the sign. Like tree, uh, oh. house. Well, <laughs> dollar Tree is the only true dollar store because everything in there is a dollar or less. Everything else, that, like Dollar General, Family yeah, okay. Dollar, everything's over now, a dollar. What about, now, what about, now, Ross, what is your opinion of Five Below? Mm. I don't know what that is, Dan. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, no. It, Ross. it is. Uh, the price them out. It, it, <laughs> well, it's hard to go in there. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's an, uh, I don't even know what. I love I, Five Below. I honestly don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. I, it's like I a go- Dollar General. No, I know. I've been yeah, in yeah. with my yeah. wife to get some stuff, but I don't. Trendier. I don't know where they get the stuff. I don't understand the pricing at all. Like it, <laughs> no, n- it never makes place. sense. And five below. Mm. I don't know. No, I'm with Ross. I, I'll stick to the Dollar Generals. Uh, I, I, I'm I, not. I've never heard of that one. We go to Lincoln Down. That's where we go for like you know just a little bit more pricey stuff. <laughs> I don't know that one. Well, five below Lincoln Down. Uh, oh, you know, Ross, you, I, you and I are fine. <laughs> Me and Ross are, are killing over here. Yeah. <laughs> Ross and I are destroying. Joke but Friday. Yeah, but we're both probably <laughs> high as fuck right now. <laughs> All right, let's let's news it up, my man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, when you said I'm going to plot you down, that was time for uh, the last bong hit before the show. Okay, I, uh, I saw that. I was so jealous because mm. I don't have mine on me. But This is a, a continuing a kind of a news update. We talked about banned words from Scrabble. Yeah. Uh, now getting in on on the game NASA recently announced they're going to they're going to they're going to there's a lot of shit up in the sky, right? <laughs> right? A lot, of, a lot of it is named uh weird stuff, so they're going to they're going to go through and make sure there's nothing in their catalog that is offensive and like the f- the first few they threw out there, they're no longer going to refer to planetary nebula NGC2392 as the Eskimo nebula. That's a no-no. They're going to get rid of that. Okay. All right. All right. Also, well, so is is the term Eskimo oh, it's bad. derogatory? Uh, according to this NASA press release I'm looking at right here, Eskimo is widely viewed as a colonial term with a racist history imposed on the indigenous people of Arctic regions. Ah, so it, you just call them Native American, uh, not Eskimo. Inuit. 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 Yeah, yeah, I've heard the term Inuit. Inuit. Indian or just Inuit. I don't know. I thought uh, I thought it was the only when it looks like we're supposed to call them planetary nebula NGC two <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, <laughs> How did the uh, how did the Eskimos get tied up in the Eskimo brothers? You you don't know about that, yeah. right? What are the Eskimo brothers? Well, it's a term. You don't know what that means. If you're es- no. if, I'm surprised. If you're Eskimo brothers, you both remember have the sex- Jungle Brothers back in the day, Dan. They tried to have a white spinoff band. And it didn't work. <laughs> I absolutely remember the Jungle Brothers, a hundred percent. It's a it's a term that if you if two guys have sex with the same woman, mm-hmm. that makes them Eskimo brothers. But right. why? I've never heard that. You've never heard that. That's no. crazy that you've never yeah, heard that. Yeah. No. But I wonder where that came from. Why was it because like Eskimo or uh, in, uh, Inuit Indians uh, live in a smaller tribe, so most likely they've had sex with the same woman? When, uh, where did it come from? No, I, I feel like this is not accurate, but uh, according, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the term Eskimo <laughs> Brothers, because I feel like it's been around longer than this show's been around, was popularized by the second episode of the American TV sitcom The League. The character Taco, played by John LaJoy, described the concept when two guys had sex with the same girl to his friends showing how he can get favors like free drinks at the bar from his fellow Eskimo brothers. 
You're, I feel like that term was around when yeah, I was I think a kid. Long, yeah, I heard about that in high school. I, I've never heard of that. But, but why did Eskimo? Where did Eskimo I don't know. even get tied into that? Uh, anyway, sorry to go on an Eskimo. Uh, brothers they're also brothers. getting rid of the uh, Siamese Twins galaxy. No. And uh, well, that's my Samus favorite Twins. Marvel galaxy is the <laughs> Siamese Twins galaxy. Hmm. And then just like Scrabble, they are going to have to get rid of Cocksucker's Comet. <laughs> <laughs> the Siamese twins, too. Uh, the, what, what, like, if you're saying someone's Siamese, what does that well, mean? Well, people can be from, uh, would have been the area that was Siam, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, that that would have been, uh, what, what would that be today? Like, oh, man, oh I I'm, can't pull it. I'm trying to, I, I'm... Is where that, where is that Vietnam? Siam? Thailand, right? Thailand? Thailand. And it's not no longer Siam. Someone or something from central Thailand. It's Siamese. Siamese. Okay. Siamese. But, like a Siamese cat. Right. Siamese oh, twins. So when you it, say I wonder if someone says Siamese twins, that they're referring to like that Asian people look alike and they're like, you know, this maybe like old school racism. Well, like if you had Siamese twins and you were from like, you know, inner Saiga, or excuse me, inner, would you say Thailand? Thailand? Then that makes sense. But I think, are they, are Ross, is it your understanding that they're getting rid of it because it doesn't necessarily mean a region? It's like a derogatory term for people that are con conjoined or like together or like. If, if I had to guess, which I, I'm having to do at this point, I think it, um, I think it goes back to the first, I think it goes back to P.T. Barnum. Right. And he, he hired these two guys called Chang and Ang mm -hmm. who were conjoined twins from Siam. And that's kind of how it got popularized. Right. It was so a sideshow act. Chang and Ang. Yeah. And so if I think it's just as in, that in general, like that, that um, genetic occurrence can happen anywhere. It's right. not limited to the former province of Siam or right. current Thailand. But because they were popular in the sideshow act, people just started calling all Everybody conjoined here. twins. Siamese also, twins, it's yeah. more exotic. That's so rare. You know, right? If you say they're from like Thailand, you know, and they're uh, Siamese, that sounds yeah. certainly more. It's like they've traveled the end of the globe to how, be here how many conjoined twins are actually born each year it's got to be super super rare right i mean and more, survive yeah absolutely yeah rare. like are more than one a year born and survive like, i think so yeah i would imagine conjoined? so out of right. the yeah. millions of people on the earth yeah okay. I don't know. I don't know. once when, in every 50 to sixty thousand births like oh, I, okay, I mean right. i'll i'll yeah, be honest with lot, you guys man. when we were you know trying to conceive I wanted to have Siamese twins. <laughs> That's what I wanted. You know, and a lot of people were like, you know, like, do you want a boy? Do you want a girl? I was like, no, I want a Siamese twins. Mm. And, and then people were like, are you sure? And I was like, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> But Dan, that was because you wanted that um that forearm tad of Maisie. You wanted that yeah. actually as a chess piece and you wanted it balanced, big. right? Yeah, I wanted it big and balanced and and I wouldn't have I wouldn't have gotten the tattoo, uh, Ross, if it had just been one of those like like mm. almost a sibling. You know what I mean? That grows off yeah. of the oh, like that one arm. Yeah, I don't count that. It's yeah. got to be full, and they and I'd prefer them. A, I like them adjoined at the the top of the head. Oh yeah. So yeah, it yeah. makes for optimum uncomfortability when they have to do anything. Oh. <laughs> didn't the oldest... This is terrible. I should, didn't I'm the shut up. oldest uh, conjoined twins just recently die? Or something like the, the most famous oldest... The girls? Yeah, yeah. Those... Oh, yeah. I think you're right. And That's sad. They lived till like their 40s or something. And they that were that married, right? They were married to two different men. Yeah. There was a whole thing. Like, they were on... Regis and Kathy Lee and you know, all yep. Maury How Pope long ago was that? Well, Regis, is, e -bomb video Christ, Regis, Regis is dead and, <laughs> and Kathy Lee left that I, show 20 years in ago. In the 90s, uh, it was a big thing to have conjoined twins on your morning talk oh, show. Oh, I know. <laughs> I had some on Ed Till. <laughs> <laughs> Maury Povich. Don Arsenio. They did all the rounds. Yeah, yeah, Donna yeah. Hugh, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donna Hugh. Donna Hugh. Um, anyway. Don the best remember at the my favorite donahue thing was at the end of the show he would like sit down and have a quiet moment where you with you where he didn't really say anything he'd, yeah. he'd just be like well we learned a lot today about gay nazi hitler didn't we yeah <laughs> and then jerry springer stole it like he stole yeah, the whole it. like jerry's final thought from <laughs> phil donahue <laughs> i'd be like well, i never put that together but he did he stole that from donahue That's yeah and, up. and i know i i actually think in, the, in his defense ross i actually think he says he stole it 
Like I, oh, okay. I, I'd have to research it, but I think he does give credit that he like really liked Phil Donahue. I remember watching Donahue with mm. my dad. He had poofy white hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's his whole credibility was the fact that he had gray hair and like he was an old man. And people were like, I trust this old man. <laughs> like, you why? trust me because I have gray hair. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And like, glasses. You, yeah. I don't know anything about you. What makes you certified to do any of this? Like, you're not a psychologist. You're not anything. You're just a glorified. You know what? Now that you're Donahue. saying this, I don't know who Donahue is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know him. He's yeah. a talk show host. No, but how, did he, how did he get there? He just probably applied for a talk show host job or some shit. He's like an actor. He did commercials, and they're like, "Oh, we'll choose him." Like, who cares what you think, old man? At the end of the show, like, you just you did Ross, commercials. You should do this. that since you are the Orlando talk show. Since you are the host. Oh yeah, you're you should do final a reflection. final reflection with all oh, my God. God. Just steal it from Jerry. Yeah, yeah. I at, would love that. At the end of each podcast, you just do a reflection on the podcast and current day events and what's going on. No, you should just read one of. Donahue's final moment. <laughs> Start at like a random date, you know, uh, 1979, and just go from there on. I was going to save it for the end of the show, but yeah, I'll go ahead and plug my new podcast, Musings. <laughs> what uh, What's the next story, Ross? Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, Tom. We got, uh, we got a pandemic running wild in the world. Uh, there's a lot of uh, environmental uh, damage occurring every single day uh, politically. The world has never been more at odds with each other. Uh, mm. Right now, the Department of Energy is uh, has proposed changes to the um, the 1992 law, which defined the allowable showerhead flow. Basically, in 92, they limited showerheads to uh, not be able to produce more than 2.5 gallons of water per minute. You might ask me, why is the Department of Energy uh, investigating this particular law at this time? Uh, it's because of uh, our president. Uh, here's a quote from him. Quote, so shower heads, you take a shower, the water doesn't come out. You want to wash your hands, the water doesn't come out. So what do you do? You just stand there longer or you take a shower longer? Because my hair, I don't know about you, but it has to be perfect. Perfect. End quote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the uh we've talked about this Ross and tell me how you feel because uh all the new appliances that they're making. Mm. I recently bought a new dishwasher. The older less efficient dishwashers or any appliance that has to use a bunch of water or whatever like uh, fixtures or whatever work better than the new ones. Yeah. Yes, uh, because they use w waste way more. And now because of all regulation and they're trying to be more energy efficient, whatever. Yeah, they actually new technology works less efficient or like less efficiency than, is bad for like getting the job, for done. getting the right. job done. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. They, I mean, like my my new washer that's less than what is like three years old, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It already broke. I had to repair it last weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all they, there's it's made of plastic now. It's like yeah. old 1950s dishwasher. I don't even know they had them back there, but like the 70s, yeah. all metal. Yeah. And just tons plastic of water, like forever. Like you turn a hose on for a half an hour, <laughs> just boring yeah. out. Um, we, I just got my um, my Samsung washer here that I, my bong is currently sitting on top of. I, I just got it fixed. And the piece that was broken, this guy broke it open. My, he, he opened the washer in a way that I never would have imagined it even opened. <laughs> and then there was a row of like six. They looked like beefy little jewel pods. And he tapped one of them. And he said, yep, your cold water valve. That's the problem. I'm like, what the fuck? That's nuts. Really? Yeah. He's like changing the cold water fuse in your... That's nuts. The inside of this thing looks like a goddamn like uh, a circuit board with little transistors and shit. Uh, yep, water... Flow. <laughs> <laughs> like for mine, like it, it was the rack on the top, like a piece broke. And then like the piece that I needed from Whirlpool mm. was like $78. Yeah, what the fuck? But then the piece that Andrea ordered from Amazon was made in China, and she got it for seven dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it's I don't even understand anything anymore, man. I no. just I fixed it. It works fine. You know, whatever. Mm. So is is it they're trying to uh, take that regulation, that water f flow regulation, out of the equation? Because I think all it is is a tiny little like a uh, washer. Because I've heard like, like when a you, little screen, isn't it? You when you get a new uh, like fixture or whatever, a shower head, all you have to do is take out the yeah, little yeah, screen yeah. or thing, and then everybody's like, "Oh yeah, take that out. That's the water flow restrictor." Yep. Yeah. 
and uh, then it's fine. I used to steal the screens off of the um, mm-hmm. oh that uh, faucet off the faucets at Clear Channel to put in my ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that's an old that's an old school thing. You I'd go there. in there and I'd unscrew the thing, I, and yeah, they'd yeah. stack them. Oh yeah, you have like four or five in there. Yeah, and I'd steal every single fucking one of them. Uh, Fuck yeah. that place. I remember I took the screen out of my uh, the kitchen one in my uh, house when I was a teenager, and my mom was like. Something's wrong with it because it didn't yeah, yeah. do do with this. I was like, I don't. Know. I like to put it back <laughs> so all the tap water smells like resin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the next story, Ross? Do you still use a screen? Something about smoking through gas station brass just doesn't do it for me <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. You know? <laughs> I ingest everything now. It's just all pills. Yeah, he just eats the screens now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll keep you regular. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw uh, a couple of weeks ago, a viral video went around of a bear approaching like two ladies on a path. Yeah. It, it, it pretty much showed up uh, everywhere. Uh, if you saw that video recently, uh, they caught that bear. Uh, they moved it to a different state, get it away from people, you know, where they think it was being fed and acclimated too much to people. They also castrated that fucking bear. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw that. They probably to make it less aggressive. Um, but it, yeah, but it wasn't aggressive. I mean, I mean, couldn't you? I mean, no, it'd be too much work. I was going to say, the like, lady. I mean, you don't necessarily want to change. You don't want to necessarily make it sterile. Right. I mean, you want it to still do its bear things. And if it found a mate, you well, want it to bear mate. Right. Maybe they had determined that uh, it's better off for the bear that it, uh, it's less aggressive, more docile, and just live his life. Because they they're like, if this thing comes after another person or like gets near people, yeah. they're gonna kill it, right? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, they're not gonna take the chance. How about we kill the people that get near the bears? Well, that uh, the problem with people is that we're uh, near the bears. <laughs> There's no yeah. getting out of it. Like we are. Unfortunately, we're gonna kill all the bears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Sam. It's not gonna end well for bears or any animal. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna we're gonna yeah, trump yeah. all of them. Yeah, yeah pun yeah. intended. <laughs> they, uh, if we're you know, I mean, we're growing in population. We want to live in bigger and bigger places, and you know, what do bears do for me? Is what I would ask. <laughs> mm, mm. Bear lives matter. Although I gotta tell you, those ladies with that bear did re- remain Man, co- incredibly I calm. Know. I know. I don't know if I could do it. Because I think I'd the, start running. How old were the ladies? They, they were like young. early 20s? Yeah, yeah. They were young. And and then the bear even I went... I have a problem calling early 20s women ladies. <laughs> yeah, I don't Why? Know. Just, no. Yeah. So you gotta say, uh, uh, you gotta girls, say something uh, uh, way <laughs> more disrespectful, like chicks. The, uh, the, hey, the, the, what, what about the side chicks? The, the bear... Didn't the bear use its snoot to like... He like, was just sniffing yeah, her. Says here, sniffed one of these dames. <laughs> <laughs> I knew yeah. it. But it, it did something like, sort of like, uh, curious, aggressive to one of them. And Ooh. then she was like, oh. And then. That's the worst children's book. He, <laughs> he like curious, put his paw on her arm or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't harm her at all. No, no, no. But I think the size of a bear, like if it just was. It, was a, it wasn't a big bear. It was still a cub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's where the like mom bear comes out and that, oh, the mom bear will e- mm. kill you good. Uh, but fucking around with his cubs or whatever. Like that's the most, I think that's the most dangerous the uh, bears can be is if you're around any of their cubs like if they're yeah if you surprise a bear and it's surprise got a cub, it'll just come and just oh you chomp, know what i like chomp your head. i like uh eat you alive i i like uh no i'm not gonna say that joke i'm gonna you know what continue with the you're show okay oh so, so uh, they yeah. castrated it uh the, to decrease the likelihood of it getting in a fight with another bear in this uh in this mountain range they were gonna release oh. it in Ah, so it wasn't even about humans. It was uh, so that it wouldn't start fighting another bear that it was part of its territory or whatever. I feel bad. It was separated from its family and it got its balls chopped off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's pretty rough if... Uh, imagine- I don't know. I mean, it sounds pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it could I mean, be like, worse. Well, you, you it pay, could be worse. You're painting that them. picture. I mean, like, if you told if my me, balls like, do anything anyway. hey, during this COVID, I know everything's crazy with the school with kids and everything, and I know you and your wife have been cooped up and you're fighting more than ever. We're going to castrate you and, and then pull you from your family. <laughs> Take not me, that, take not me, that please. Bad. Please yeah. take me. Are you going to put me to sleep? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's yeah, a you're surgery. You're just going to stay in a cave. And then I just wake up, yeah. no balls. And you'll wake up, no balls. you just be in a bad. cave and you just chill out and you'll be really stoned out, like chill the whole <laughs> rest of your life. Uh, you got another story, Ross? 
Oh, I got a bunch of shit for you, Tom. You okay. just tell me when to stop. You know, uh, you know, piece of shit news is always dedicated to bringing you the latest and the most expensive nonsense. Uh, today, uh, brand new spanking news we got here for you. Uh, an Israeli jewelry company, this is according to the AP, is working on what it says will be the world's most expensive coronavirus mask. They, uh, it is a commission. Somebody specifically ordered this thing. They had, uh, they had a few demands. They wanted it by the end of the year. Uh, they specifically wanted it to be the most expensive mask in the world, and they wanted it fitted with, fuck your N95 filter, dude. This has N99 filters. What? what? N99? I got 99 problems, but a filter ain't one. <laughs> all right. They, so, Supported. I don't even know it went higher than 95. No. Either. So I have to imagine like an N100 is just a plastic bag tied around your head, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I still don't even understand it. I just put the regular mask on. I'm like, whatever. I mean, yeah. I actually, I wear gaiters and I sneeze at them <laughs> because <laughs> hard I, as you can. I watched the news last night and they said the coronavirus can travel 16 feet. And I was like, congratulations, you're now more athletic coronavirus than Big Tim Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> <How dare you? laughs> But that's only if coronavirus can get that discounted, uh, you know, bus ticket. Yeah. Uh, so uh, did they say how much this mask will cost or be worth? All right. We got a coronavirus mask, uh, 18 white, 18 karat white gold decorated oh. with 3,600 white and black diamonds. Uh, like I said, N99 filters. It's going to come in at $1.5 million. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, where do you and wear this that? this is still going to throw it in the public's parking lot when he's done with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, but man, lately. Did you have to go that high? Like, couldn't you? The most expensive mask could be $10,000, hey, right? I, do you guys think I'm an idiot? Just real quick, based on what Ross just said. Yeah. Do you guys think I'm an idiot? I will put a plastic bag on my hand or whatever I can find. Uh -huh. And I'll pick up those masks. It, it drives me crazy when people yeah. leave them. Oh, yeah. That's I, terrible. It's glittering. I, I, and, I, and I wash my hands, and I don't touch anything else, but I'll put my hand like in a paper bag or whatever. If I see them, and I'll pick them up. It drives me mad. Yeah. Don't do that. I mean... Yeah. Or you're just a, a selfish piece of shit. Yeah. You're littering on the, it's, it's the same as throwing your goddamn fast food wrapper on the floor. Now, like, condoms I'm okay with. But. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. A good condom on the floor. Because you know what? I understand that this was probably an yeah, emergency. Yeah, had to wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. An yeah. emergency. Yeah, it was yeah. an emergency. Yeah, you had yes. to get the poison out. Yeah, something happened. And there, there's, a, there's a condom in the Walmart parking lot, like, Something happened here. Yeah, that needed to happen. <laughs> it was important. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why what? it's there, but it, I give you a pass because yeah, it but means the mask no. unacceptable. Disagree. Condom, I fully support. <laughs> <laughs> Van the, important, the most important thing is that no child is ever conceived in a Walmart parking lot. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hand, Hand out condoms in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do. Yeah, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is yeah. fun. All right, uh, Tom, just for you, we got uh, Dumb Old Man playing with kids' toys news. Uh, <laughs> Simon Cowell recently yeah. got on an electric bike and broke his fucking back. Uh, yeah, yes. it was oh, my God. It was a kid's toy, too, yeah. Oh, In, like, so. four places. Oh, yeah. yeah. He fucked himself up. Like he, His injury, I heard somebody on TV, and I laughed at this, and you shouldn't. <laughs> you, you're a good person <laughs> if you don't. Yeah. Somebody said that Simon Cow's injuries are worse than Kevin Hart's, and Simon's were on a kid's toy. No, oh, really? And I was like, "Is that true?" Well, I mean, yeah, you could hurt yourself on any. I wonder how he fell. Like he was riding on one of those e-bikes. I don't know what brand or whatever, but um, he said he was riding in his own like compound or like a state. and then broke his back. But how? Like how violently <laughs> did he fall? He keeps using the word, and I think his press uh, agents probably are pushing the word testing. They keep saying he was testing his electric bike, but it also says he was in his own fucking courtyard. So he was just taking a lap around his fountain and fucking lost traction and slid out or something and broke his fucking back. Yeah, I don't think he probably didn't even fall that hard. Like, we're, no, we're, you don't have to. Yeah, because you see, like, there's tons. I mean, yeah. shit, we've watched Jackass for all these years and, like, I've seen people, like, 
uh, that car will fall like crazy hard yeah. and then you get up and walk away or be like, oh, yeah, God. this is a six year old man. True. Yeah. 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 With big titties. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, titties I, 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 finally, I can say it. Like, I'd watch American Idol and I'd be yeah. like, God damn, Simon Cowell has a big ass <laughs> titty. He's got fudgers. <laughs> He's got bigger titties than you, Sam. <laughs> no. He does. He's got some big old titties. Some big old He's got Jesus. British big titties. British. Big old cows. Yeah, he's got yeah. some big old, you know. Some men, they have, Cadbury like, milkers. They, they'll work out. Yeah. I, listen, I, I uh, the chopper over there has got some, uh, like, got some <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, let's this have a tit off. Right? Hey, hey. I'm uh, just <laughs> telling you, the chopper got some big ones. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Oh yeah! Didn't you guys see him at the beach? So, yeah. Ross, when Tom, he first Tom just her. told Butler he's got big titties. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, he, he's, he's got the some men have the pecs that lend themselves more towards a breast, <laughs> like a breast. You're, now you're gonna the, hurt it. Why are you why are you bullying him? Uh, you're gonna hurt his feelings. No, he bullies me all every day. <laughs> my guy, my guy. How do you feel about your big titties? Ah, uh, you know, uh, pussy toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's been, his wife has been rubbing her estrogen cream on a towel, and Butler's been rubbing it on his face. <laughs> so he's been growing titties wrong. <laughs> I uh, I've been back on my pull up stand. I got a nice set of perkies right now. Oh, oh yeah! Right. Right. Hey, when Ross wants to, <laughs> Ross will dedicate himself. He'll get ripped as hell, and then a week later, you'll <laughs> never know. Like he, you are a chameleon. Yeah. And and I'm not talking. And people are in their mind are thinking of like a guy that maybe uh, have some extra weight on them, and no, he has no, like no. like you know, it's uh, worse than that. Fat. <laughs> He's got like fat titty. I'm talking about like a guy that has pecs, but they're like. Molded like breasts. So, so like mean. You're so it looks mean. like the Marilyn Manson uh, when he Bust. was in Beautiful People. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a. They're more. We know a guy. They're tight to the, yeah, the we body. Do, we do That's know our a guy. friend yeah. that has pecs, but they're more like titties. I mean, if you they're put animal. them. Are you fucking comparing me to Cabin Boy? <laughs> well, <laughs> no. <we're not> <laughs> say that. I am not. Um, and uh, I they're classic Hasselhoffs. Yes, yes, Hasselhoff. Classic yeah. Hoffs. Yeah, yeah. Hasselhoff has like that. Anyway, um, let's do one last story, Ross. All right, one last story uh, uh, in uh, in the news recently. I don't know how familiar you are with uh, Jerry Falwell Jr. Yes. Uh, <laughs> did you hear about this story, Dan? I did. Yes. Uh, he he was he uh, until recently was the president of a Bible college, uh, uh, Liberty University. Uh, he recently got fired because he, uh, I think it was on Instagram, he put a picture out on Instagram of himself, basically in like a kind of a tight t-shirt, and I think like uh, Jean Duke shorts, right, Dan? Uh, Reuters is not giving me a picture here. Yeah, it, it's Dukes, yeah. Hmm. And then it's, his pants are unzipped, like basically showing what I would call top of groin bulge, okay? Uh-huh. And then he's got his arm around a young lady, uh, you know, some chick, uh, he's, he's got his arm around, not his wife, and she's wearing similar pants in the same state of affairs. And he obviously has like a glass of scotch in his hand, and uh, he he put it out. Uh, and I'm just gonna throw it to you. Oh. What was up with that picture on Instagram? You know, it was weird. Cause, cause, <laughs> Sorry. Hold on, my my Whoa. my uh, web browser, Ross. I apologize. Apparently, got uh, <laughs> it felt the Lord and it just started <laughs> spilling Jerry Falwell all over you. Apologies. <laughs> So did he po- post this picture himself? Yeah. And uh, then he his quote underneath it was, uh, quote, more vacation shots, lots of good friends visit us on the yacht. I promise that's just black water in my glass. It was a prop only, end quote. <laughs> black water? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Uh, drink on a boat, Tom. Yeah. Oh, black water. Keep, <laughs> keep on moving. Is that even keep on shining on me. me. Black water's not even a thing. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> there it is. There it is. I got it. All okay, right. Yeah. Now you can see it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, uh, you know what? It made me, if I just look at the picture, I'm like, all right, Jerry Falwell Jr., we can party now because you look like a normal human being. Uh, uh, but if you're going to deny it, uh, say no. Here's the thing, though. How is that Peg Bundy? How are you? It does look like Peg Bundy. How are you so uh, ignorant to who you are that you would post like you're the son of a like super prominent evangelical preacher, He's right? The son of a preacher, man. Yeah, yeah. And then well, he's drunk. 
But yeah, but still, so, like <laughs> I mean, it's easy. You, I mean, like it, everything is. But like, it's not like what have we always Instagram learned? Just happened. We thought Clear Channel, everything, the roof was falling. Everything, everything's yeah. always more simple than you think, right? He was on the yacht with the guys. He was drinking the brown drink with his girl. They unbutton their pants. They're taking funny photos. Somebody snapped a photo. They put it out there. He's well, he, hammered. Someone mentioned it was but, a Trailer Park Boys theme party. Mm. Okay, but still, oh, well, though, there you go. But here, but even regardless, like, yeah, what he's doing is fine. It's stupid, uh, like yeah. whatever. But that's not the point. The point is, you're Jerry Faldwell Jr., the son of the famous preacher Jerry Fald Faldwell, or whatever. That. Anyway, how the do real, you... real issue though, Tom, was though he was uh, at the time he was the president of Liberty University, and say say you're a student at Liberty University. When you sign off, you pay your tuition, you pick your class schedule. You sign a, a legal document that says you will engage in their moral, right. basic yeah, yeah, yeah. Their moral code. And that includes posting like shit like pictures of your pants undone on Instagram. It is very, very strict. And if you were a student at Liberty University, mm -hmm. you would be expelled for some shit like this. Yeah. And, but that, that, that even lends itself more to my point is that how did he not realize this was a bad move? And I know you're saying you're just drunk, but the, I mean. Here's, here's his explanation, Tom. I think this will clear it up for you. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, and he did uh, leave his post. He's not the president of Liberty anymore. He's probably going to just start a mega church or some shit. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be good. But this is his uh, uh, this is his explanation. Quote, she couldn't get her pants zipped. And I was like trying to I had a pair of jeans I hadn't worn in a long time and I couldn't get mine zipped either. Okay. So I just put my belly out like hers. End quote. That's the worst lie I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> like I said, also, not to I, say that I'm right again, but you just come back when they go, "Why'd you do that?" You just go, "Like I was drunk." And they, they're like, "That's not liquor drink. That's black water." <laughs> black water. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, buddy Andres tried to tell. Uh, yeah, it's a rock and roll club. That he and, and my bachelor party <laughs> that he was at a rock and roll club. But even, rock and roll clubs not yeah. even a thing. It, that's oh, that's what <laughs> European people call discotheque. Yeah. You want to go to a rock and roll club and dance around rock and roll, Jerry Lewis, your lie Casey Kasem. Your lie doesn't exist, which makes what you're saying crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Blackwater, that's not even like, oh, I just, oh, I didn't notice. I was just Ross, like, good Ross. old Blackwater. <laughs> Ross, your hair looks awesome, by the way, man. It looks good. Look how Thanks, long, Dan. look how long his fucking hair is. But you're cutting it. Are you doing locks of love again? Yeah, when I do cut it, that's what I'll, that's what I'll do. But uh, yeah, but that's the one we'll be free for a while. I don't think you should cut it. I think it looks cool. Mm. I'm, I rue the day I ever cut my hair. So you want to do one more? Yeah. Well, I was going to ask Ross any uh, what's uh, going yeah. on in your podcast. Yeah. What's on the show this yes. week? Uh, the last one we put out, uh, we just had uh, Sam. You might know him as uh, Jimmy Josh Front Legs. Josh yes, Adam Myers. That's exciting. Uh, uh, founder of uh, the goddamn Comedy Jam and host of the 500 podcast. Uh, that was a really good one. Uh, coming out next Thursday, uh, Jackie uh, hooked us up with Tim Dorsey. Uh, you know who that is, Dan? Sounds extremely familiar. Uh, he's a very uh, quintessential Florida writer. He's that guy that wrote like the Surge Storms books. You know, oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, that episode, if you're a fan of Rat House, uh, Tim Dorsey tells me a cute little story about a rat infestation in his neighborhood, oh, and I, uh, I Rat House school him. So that one's a lot of fun. Oh, awesome. And, and then uh, two weeks after that, Sam. Yes. Uh, you might remember from the Crab Feast, Steve Cantwell. We no! Get, we, get him, we get Steve Cantwell on the line. I talked to him for like an hour and a half about his fucking eight-year Salvia trip. Oh, that's my and, favorite podcast episode ever. And he gives up a bunch <laughs> of Mormon secrets, dude. It's just fucking awesome. It's Rad. a really good one. I'm when so does excited. that come out? When's that out, Ross? That'll be out. That'll be the first uh, Thursday in September. Okay, great, cool. awesome. So we get a lot of good tots stuff to listen to, brother. We love you. Thanks so much for doing the news, man. Love you too. See you guys later. Bye, All right, brother. Be good. That is our good friend Ross McCoy, King yep. of the News. Yep. Live from where was he? Well, he has the banner now, but I think he's still in the garage. I saw some sweat. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He's in the garage. <laughs> um, shall we take a break Let's and then do it. come back and then we'll just get crazy for the end. We're gonna do some dump them out. Yeah, um, this is really cool. Um a band called The Ryans, which I'm just guessing it's two guys named Ryan. They're AMT listeners, BDMs, and they sent us some music. This is their newest song. It's called Is This the End? One eight four four T O M N D A N. If you want to call in, we haven't even barely taken any calls. Show at TomAndDan.com for a last minute email. Let's go.
What? Bye bye. Welcome back to <laughs> a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. Tom. Samantha's here. <laughs> Butler's here. The fish are here. Fish. What's where left we at? of them? Yeah. Where, where are we at? We're, we're good now, right? Last week was catastrophic. Mm. We lost Big Ugly. We lost uh, Piss Face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost two of the firefish. Mm-hmm. We had some. Something, something's going on in there. Yeah. Well, so far, no, no more after that. Yeah, we're the good crabs now. Crabs ate everybody too, like every <laughs> their bones and everything. Um, so I don't know something, something happened. I feel like we should rename pubic lice because <laughs> if you did have crabs right. down there, they would eat your, your, your I mean, they do. <laughs> It'd just be a barren wasteland. Mm. Uh, mm. Canadian Josh wants to give a shout out to his wife for her birthday. Happy birthday, Angie. Oh, uh, is she listening? I don't know. If, no, of if course not, not. And that was like, fucking pointless, Canadian Josh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> your wife's like, hey, you're doing that stupid thing again. <laughs> Look at this. You don't listen. If I, Hi, guys. Canadian Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <You're, laughs> okay, the shout out is all. You're only going to hear a Josh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shout out to Josh yeah, for his imagine. wife's. Hey, we want to wish Josh a happy birthday to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> How does that even work? Shout uh, out to Dr. Rocker. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's <laughs> she do doesn't some, listen either. <laughs> do some dump them out. <laughs> all right. Let's <laughs> dump them out. <laughs> We got too many topics on the list today. It's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby. Let's dump them out and play. I want to see your topics. Ooh, I want to also see your bottom mix. What the hell is that? Dump them out brought to you by Precision Door of Central Florida. Oh my God! <laughs> Give them a call, 407-710-BDMS. Ask for the silent package. If you get a, new, a whole new door, you get 5% off. You mentioned Tom and Dan. And uh, me and Dan have the we know, do. Wi-Fi, we have Wi-Fi silent, Wi-Fi silent, package. silent package. Look at you good. guys. Yeah, yeah. You will like your door so much. You will say. What the fuck? 407-710-BDMS. Give them a call. So, uh, what do we got? We got Vampire vs. Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> this happened this morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Me and Tom's alter egos had a stare-off battle. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, like, I've got Samantha who's got in, like, novelty. They're icy gray. Icy That's gray uh, mm-hmm. contacts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you have on your... Now, pop, what are, pop, let, glasses. Me, let me see these. I normally don't... <laughs> uh, are these yours? I know they arrive. Now these are in what can only be described as gurdy purple. Are they purple? They're they look like, black from here, yeah, so I can't they're, really they're tell. They're black. I got them on Amazon. Oh uh, man, your eyes got huge. Are they magnified? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Butler said the same thing. <laughs> they were supposed to be the the uh, point one or uh, on, point I get, five. I can't see. I, gotta, I, I couldn't find the. Uh, oh. So I just went. I was what like are these? Reading. I just reading glasses. I just bought the first well, thing on mine. Amazon. They're not much different than mine. Well, they have. Oh yeah. man. And I got legitimate they real have different strengths. You and know? mine are mild. I, I don't got, know. This I see it blurry. No, but yours mm. are more powerful. I think than my <laughs> actual glasses. Yeah, His yeah. eyes went bad real fast. Because I, my I have mm, I, I have glasses from eye strain. Like I have injured yeah. my eyes from. They just get tired. Tom so, rocks those on the tip of his nose. Yeah, weird. why do you rock them all <laughs> like the way to the like bottom? Like he's a banker in Harry yeah. Potter. You look like one of those Harry Potter <laughs> Jew gnomes. From the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, by the way, nobody's going to convince me that she, after knowing what we know about her and how she feels about certain people, you don't think she was drawing, I, like, I, Jewish mm. money gnomes? Like, come on. I look like come I'm on. I'm come doing on. the... <laughs> I look like I'm doing the warden's taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I got here this morning, hold on, I gotta go to the camera. Put them on. Put them back on. Put them back on. Uh, All right. See, I, well, I can you, see. You do I can look read. exactly like your grandfather. <laughs> My yeah. fucking god, man. Yeah. yeah they. Uh, not... When I came in this morning, neither myself or Tom had looked at each other, so we didn't notice and the differences. When, yeah. In and then when ourselves. you looked at each other, you both went like. <laughs> yeah, we both got scared. It was vampire yeah. versus grandpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Samantha's got Grampire. vampire <laughs> contacts in. 
which I was going to say, I, I, we don't normally don't clown on Samantha because she does so much. I mean, I want to clown on her because you I think clown on me. I fine. feel I, like I, she has aged out of that. You got to be delicate. I, you know, I, like I, I, I did. Look at I him. Did. He, see, I will I, censor myself. This motherfucker is I, like I, he sees something. He's like, I definitely came out. Definitely came out. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did think of the joke. Uh, hot topic called. Uh, they said you're late to work. <laughs> 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 and, uh, That's fine. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but I'm old man, uh, so I can't uh, say much. Uh, mm. And uh, somebody's mom's going to see My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> can't got canceled. Uh, so and then you know we were promised a pizza party today, mm-hmm. which oh, is yeah. usually never happens. You declined? No, uh, no. Well, we well I did say let's get something yeah, else besides pizza because pizza I'm pizzaed out. Yeah, I um, want pizza so bad. I put my old man glasses on. So and started Tom, put door his, Tom put on his old man glasses and started scrolling on his broken phone. I'm kind of mad at you, by the way, because I had my I, I. Oh man, this was like an hour. By the way, we went through this uh, you are correct and i'm kind of mad at you tom right. and I, i'm gonna be honest with you and tell you when i'm mad at you right. now like normally when i'm mad at you i just stuff <laughs> it down and turns to cancer <laughs> and i'm terminal at this point point. Yeah. and i i'm getting mad at you like i get mad at my wife when i get my taste buds and you guys tell me and the oh, listeners you too, just put in your jason i Taylor. give my taste buds set for something and i get yeah. i don't i like food i'm a good cook same and i and once i have my taste buds anchored Mm. On whatever I'm eating. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. first we were gonna get. Well, okay. First so, it was pizza, but you well, said first, you were pizza right, out. Then and he I went to Pokehana, and then he's like, "Well, that isn't open until 11. And that's a BDM owned. Right. Uh, those Pokeballs. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. Delicious. Not, not a client. Wish they were. Just mm. couldn't wait that long uh, because then we wouldn't get it until the show had started. Yeah. Then he's like, you know what? He clicked on the healthy uh, tab with his little uh, grandpa glasses on, <laughs> and he's scrolling through, and he's like, all right, we're going to go Jason's Deli. And we're yeah. like, okay. Everybody goes around, picks what they want from yeah. Jason's Off Deli, of trying phone. not yeah, to yeah. scratch our fingers on his phone that's broken. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't give goes, that to your sons. They're too precious. Their <laughs> fingers are too uh, soft, new. Yeah. They'll just slice them like literally yeah. like a, a knife and hit butter. He pay. Or I, whatever. No, I did hit order, and then I noticed that it was and like, then God. I, I heard, uh oh. And I turn around, and he's got his glasses at the tip of his nose, and he goes, I almost did it again. I almost sent it to my house. He almost sent our goddamn Jason's Deli to his house. Yeah. Yeah. Then when I changed the uh, address to the uh, our studio mm-hmm. address. Not available. And then it said, uh, <laughs> too far. <laughs> it was like, God. <laughs> then I told okay, him. everybody is saying, like, the whole, the whole, like, you guys are doing what I hate. Uh, like, Jason's Deli is absolute dog shit. The mm. worst. Jason's Deli is straight garbage. It's not. Yeah, it's got, fine. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you guys are sandwich. doing exactly what I said I hate. It's yeah. fine. It's a sandwich. Yeah. We're not trying to have a fucking gourmet meal. <laughs> All we We're wanted to was slightly a, healthy. Yeah, a turkey wrap with some avocado yeah. on it. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, yeah. That was and then uh, we threw our hands in the air, gave up to God, and went to Publix. And got <laughs> <laughs> sensible same old shit animal. every day. Yeah, right? Same old shit. <laughs> uh, we, need, we need to do what radio stations do and then get, like, get a Pokehana. <laughs> Oh, if on, only we had us. any great places that serve food that we could run through. <laughs> we'll give them free promotion. Just drop it off uh, we, every day. I Monday. mean, Gringo's isn't that far from here. I know, I know. So if you're listening and you want free promotion, just feed us at lunch every day. We'll just give you plug hole. Yeah, we have whatever. no rules. And do whatever we want. If you, like, you I don't, don't even, even have to have a restaurant if you're just a guy. <laughs> no, And you I don't want to make that. me a PBJ yeah. and run it by here. Yeah. Mm-mm. I'll like, eat it, even if you came in. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, out. Artisan bread guys be knocking on our door now. I, I, I'll give you the Dan Dennis promise. Ever. In 44 years of living on this planet, I have never, ever checked my jelly for cum. <laughs> That's a Dan Dennis promise. Yeah, eat right through it. Yeah, yeah, like, it yeah. tastes like a little Always, yeah. like pool chemicals. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> got a, it's got a bleachy zing like Miracle Whip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, next on the list, we got 16 kids. Oh, yeah. So oh, I God, took... Yeah. Uh, I took my sons to the dentist. Got that sixteen <laughs> kids getting loaded. <laughs> sixteen kids <laughs> never explaining how Tom's gonna. And uh, it's like a child uh, dentistry. Like they just they only do kids, but right? it's children. That's <laughs> the weird part. Whoa. <laughs> by kids. It's 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 four yeah. kids by kids. It's Fuku. So <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, Tommy and Max. They're they're really good kids, and they're just sitting there, and they. Who are you uh, trying to convince, man? They're 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 doing their thing, getting their teeth clean, 
and the dentist is doing the. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, by the way, God. that was a big one. We <laughs> all one. we all need a job <laughs> where that your job is just to go in and oversee the person that did the job and supervisor. Like, yes, yeah, so, because that's the key. Because mm. he just came like. The, the text, clean my kid's teeth, did all the x-rays, whatever. He just comes in and uh, like a relief pitcher, and he's like, oh, let me check this out. Good job. And he, super nice guy, but he was uh, he was like, ah, oh, your boys are this. I love this age, whatever. He's like, we're so small talking kids. It's my job. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah, you guys, you got a couple kids this age. He's like, yeah, a couple kids this age. And my older, uh, I love them when they're this age. I'm like, well, how many kids you got? And he's like, sixteen. And I'm like, sixteen. No. This? Maybe he meant his kid is sixteen. No, no, because I went home no, and she, I told he, Crystal, and he, he's like, oh yeah, doctor so and so's got sixteen kids. I'm like sixteen. I like how she acts like that's cool. <laughs> I, like I like how your wife's like, oh yeah, 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 dude, yeah, he's got sixteen. Kids. It took me a while to wrap my head around what it meant to have six. 16 fucking kids and to the That's point where 16 I 16 trips to with, the uh, delivery wife. room, right? I Well, I don't know like, his whole person. He missed person. one of them, right? I don't he know. missed one. Apparently, he's got multiple sets of like twins and stuff. Like, oh, Aram's, God. Yeah. But, uh, multiple sets of twins? You're a fucking freak maker <laughs> if you do that. So, I probably in vitro. I mean, no, that's, that's what I'm vitro. saying. Or adopted, maybe? Uh, Why I, do you need that know. many kids? My God. So, so he loves kids. Uh, you know, <laughs> 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 is he from Utah? No, he's a super nice guy. No, I don't even know. But uh, That's what they always say. I started he a, was so nice. I started yeah. equating 16 kids to Lagunitas Waldos and follow me here. Because... <laughs> If you <laughs> so follow, okay. if you have one login, it's like, hey, how many Waldos you got at one? And be like, all right, yeah. you know, like, hey, you feel it, ten percent, oh, like yeah. high yeah. octane IPA. Two Waldos, yeah, two, and then you're like, two, you're like, whoa, are you partying a little? The bit? most <laughs> I've ever had, yeah. is two Waldos. Yeah, then so you have three, and then me and Daniel were talking like kids wise, five. Kids, and that well, you, like normally you're the only one I know that's ever had four Waldos. Right? <laughs> you Can you to, accidentally drink four? And, and if you have five Waldos, I'm like, God damn, are you okay today? He's like, yeah. I've had 16 Waldos. <laughs> 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 you, die, you die, you're dead. <laughs> you can't even, you're dead. You can't yeah. even live through that. No. And then your whole job is working with kids, too. Yeah, yeah, I can't. This, I uh. 16 anyway, I blew my goddamn mind. I, I, it, it was so much that I didn't even seem real, but apparently it is. Well, I mean, I guess. It's Doesn't, possible uh, for him what's to. What's his name? The guy that's um. Oh 16. fuck. Sam Rivers. Doesn't he have like sixteen kids? He oh, has Philip Rivers. Of, uh, Philip yeah, Rivers. Philip Rivers. Sam Rivers. Rivers. Sam Rivers. Sam Rivers is an excellent <laughs> musician. Old man saxophone player. He, he passed. Didn't I think he? Philip uh, Rivers think only has finally. like ten or something, or like nine. Or like, only. Yeah, yeah. Like he's but got, I or maybe a dozen. What's the most you've? Is sixteen the most you've ever I, heard of? That's and besides from like TV or some news story about something, but I've never the. Duggars or whatever, don't they have like nineteen yeah. kids? Yeah, yeah nineteen yeah. accounting but, or whatever. But that is like a stunt. Like at that yeah, point, it's like they're you're on doing TV. It for, you're doing but, it because you have to. You need the money. But now. Yeah, at that yeah. point, she's just like the alien queen. It's yeah. just like falling out. I've never yeah. heard some not just a dentist, sixteen goddamn kids. Like That's holy crazy. shit. <laughs> anyway, that, that is a lot kids. of kids. What else? Uh, who's next here? Uh, oh, qualified oh, captain. Yeah, Instagram. qualified okay. captain Instagram. So I follow this Instagram called Qualified Captain. It's basically just boat fails, and uh, and then it just shows a bunch of boat fails from different places in the world. And uh, I saw uh, one the other day, and it was a person filming a a, a truck and a boat in some sort of fast food uh, drive through, right? And uh, you could actually, you could play um, the video. Um, mm, I uh, told Dan to bring it. switch to here. Yeah, it's uh, second row. Yeah, that, yeah, that drive through on. one. I'm just going to switch to here, see if this yeah. works here. All right. Um, so it's this one right here, right? The yeah. car behind the, the guy pulling the boat is filming the video, right? And the person is in a drive through parking lot. He's making his order. But, of course... There's that overhang that's over all yeah. or most drive throughs Yeah, the clearance overhang. Yeah, yeah. the clearance that well, keeps... So you can order without rain, you know, yeah. pouring into your car. Or... And because there's another awning over the actual drive through window right. that, that keeps them dry from rain and is probably there to warn you, like, don't drive through here because we don't want you knocking our awning off. 
Anyway, so the person behind is is filming this person and they're ordering and it was like nighttime. So maybe uh, the person been out in the boat or maybe this is the morning and they're ordering breakfast. Don't know. Mm. Um, so watch what happens. Um, All right. Here we go. Because this this made me angry and it, it it told me something about the way our society is now. All right. So he's making an order. <laughs> what is slurping a soda? Uh, what the hell? So this lady is filming because video, this man made a terrible mistake. Oh, Karen, really? And then and he's going and he pulls forward and oh. and it ripped his bimini top off. And uh and then I, and so okay, that's it. Here's the thing that I think is what's wrong with our society today and what's wrong with people's mentalities. Mm -hmm. That lady, it never dawned on her to get out and- Oh, fuck that. And then be like, hey, just to let you know- Oh, you're anti just telling the guy? No. Why am I going to get out because this dumbass is going through the drive through Just but, common but, courtesy. Just being a good person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how about instead of film it, yeah. you're just like, hey, just so you know, you, you, you're not- no. you're, you're both no. going to hit this. No, no I he agree should with know and then he, No. Well, no, not no, about he it. Can no, make no, a mistake. No, 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 no. I'm no. staying in my car. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Well, he's well, not gonna you kill you because I, don't know. Like, I went from getting a cheeseburger to murdering the lady who was being nice to me. That, I mind my, my business. My business is I'm waiting to uh, order oh, my but that's, uh, sensible yeah. that's, the, that's that, part of the problem. No, I'm with you. No, you got to You got to at least yell out of your window. Hey, hey, you know. And then the guy's <laughs> yeah, like, no. he's like, what? And you like, he's hey, like, oh shit, because yeah. he. Obviously, because what he is forgot. It, why does it hurt you, Sam? To, to I'm not just... getting out of my car. No, okay. Well, Let's say you're not getting out of your car. I understand warning. you don't want to get out of your car, but why not be a good person? Yeah, why yeah. not just yell at the guy and be like, "Hey, dude, you're 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 fucking up." I, nah. I know it's why not help out. Well, well yeah, my business because mm, that, that, no, that's, 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 that's the problem bad. with that's society. Bad. Yeah, that's we're, why we're here. So yeah. so you're saying that, but you would want somebody to do it for you. I wouldn't make that fucking mistake. Oh, oh that's a slippery slope. Yeah, people make yeah, mistakes. Yeah. Some <laughs> people some people put uh, mistakey Tom. Maybe some people make did the mistake. You mistakey Tom. <laughs> well, yeah, mm. that's what you, you that's call me that. But you don't have to get out of your car. But yeah, but I. I do think that we all have lost, and I agree with you. I yeah. think that we've People all lost their the, cameras. We think now, mind your business, do what you're going to do. Self-centered. It's all. It, it's all. It's. It, it's a self-centered look. We used to look at things from the standpoint of helping your fellow man. Yeah, and, and we don't look at I that. I do now. help the, my fellow man, but I'm not. I'm not getting out of my car or okay, yelling let's at this stop. guy. And if I honk, let, the guy in front of me is going to think I'm being a bitch no, and honking so at him. So you're assuming like, that's not true. Yeah, you don't know I that. am assuming. Well, because you you're going to be like, that. hey, I don't know that. Hey, this guy's about to rip off his bimini top with this I see it and, and again, I'm filming let's be selfish you know that lady even make I'm about to film this guy make a stupid mistake stop him you yeah, have the power I agree you could have said hey sir you're gonna, you're gonna hit your baby top he'll be like oh shit that thing probably cost him $2,500 to least, fix at least yeah, 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 not to mention the restaurant the bolts off. Let, let's be, let's be yeah, selfish then you for a second let's be yeah. selfish like Samantha I'm sorry <laughs> but you're being selfish okay. let's be selfish for a second mm. it's not helping you to let him go through you're yeah. not gonna get the order now because this guy's going to have to get out and fix his fucking top and everything. Yeah, so if you are place. actually being... Well, now you're going to have to go down the road. Yeah, you could have helped This guy's going to get out of... Yeah, you're, if you're truly looking at it from a selfish standpoint, by him doing that, not going to help you. You're not getting your Arby's any faster. Yeah, because yeah, then now he's going to get out of his car. He's like, shit, I can't move forward. I probably ripped the... the and I wouldn't get out of my car McDonald's. either. I'm with you. I wouldn't get yeah. out of my car, but I would yell. Yeah. I, I would I'd honk, get out. I'd yell. I'd run over and be like, hey, hey just... Some, uh, and then he would have probably... about to fuck up, man. He would have been like, oh, shit. Thank you for telling me. I just it didn't dawn on me that I was pulling my boat or that my boat's bimini top was higher than the awning clearance. Like obviously he didn't do it on purpose. Mm. So anybody could have stopped him. And I don't know where we got to the point where we decided that it's okay to just let people uh, fail make, and make, videotape well, no, it's it. Make it's the internet. And, and you're laughing. Like the lady, the reason she, I mean, she wants him to do that so she can video it. Yes. So it's yes. selfish. It's, well, it's, I'm not, I, I wouldn't film it. I just, I'm I not. want the video. It's, yeah. I want the video. I, I'm like, not getting I, involved. I want you to fail. Well, so, and, and that's your choice. And I understand that. I mean, yeah. some people, either you're paranoid, you think the person's going to get mad or but whatever. she released this but video too. <laughs> I, I think Qualified you, I, captain got it. I think you that's have a, a sweet duty. sweet $50 from World Star. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. We used to have a duty that was attached to being a human that yes. meant that if you're a decent person, that you try to be decent to you other help, people. Yeah. You help them. And yeah. that's gone. Yeah. And you know what? It's you know, gone. And I think it's been replaced with like I'm gonna film it. Remember we talked to that BDM that jumped in the retention pond and saved mm -hmm. the other BDM that was having yeah. a seizure. Actually, the guy wasn't, but she was a BDM. Nope. 
But and then we yelled at all the other people because he said I jumped in the water and everybody else was just filming it. Right now. I understand maybe they, they're they not going to risk their life jumping in the water. See, I don't that's think what I'm saying. I, I would call 911, but I'm not jumping in the water. But, no, but that's fine. And Well, you may not but, know how to swim. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm Get saying. It. I don't have this, the confidence to jump into a sinking one, car. Yeah, this is an easy but, one to help but out. But they were still filming it, which is, it's not it's not good. Like, why don't I film agree with that. other people's problems and mistakes and things that happen to them? Misfortunes. Misfortune. Yeah. And then and then so you can then release the video. And let everyone laugh at them. And get likes or whatever. Right. Like yeah. what the motivation I understand what you're saying though. Cause and, and there's one thing about people like people are crazy. Yeah, filming crazy things that happen and there's a lot of that. But this was uh, the first thing I thought is this lady could have stopped it. Okay. And just let it happen so she can get the video. She knew what she was about, like I'm about to film this guy and make a horrible mistake. Stop him. What about the other day that we watched the video of the guy with the three wheeler trying to come up the dock the guy that was filming him knew damn well he wasn't gonna make it up oh, there no i think he no those guys thought he was gonna I, like they, i think they'd done it before and and that's not a, like yes he was i think that guy with the three ruler was prepared that if shit got like, goes wrong he knew what he was getting into. i also think like, everybody on that video was drunk but that's just me. yes yeah and, that's but, just but also, and they all knew they were being videotaped that's filming someone doing right. something well, stupid oh man that's but, filming someone doing something yeah, stupid but, but, but he didn't know but, but, you should how do you not no, no, no. It's Butler's, a mistake. Butler's throwing out his uh, legal aspect. He's, yeah. he, the, the difference is this guy had no idea that Karen was two cars behind him filming him rip his bimini Well, that's the other off. thing. There's, what, two or three cars behind him? Nobody yeah, else no. fucking got out or All said All those other people either. are just as bad. Yes, no, I'm saying Actually, yeah. but she's the worst because she filmed videotaped it. and uploaded. All those other people just stay quiet. So They might have filmed the two. We just saw this video. True. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't upload it, which Maybe is another story. No, I, I'm with you, dude. That is yeah. what's wrong. Maybe they didn't know that the it, it, it was going to hit the clearance. They, it just didn't dawn on them or something. But that lady knew. She made it, and then she filmed Look, it. I will always be that guy. I'm not saying I'm any better or worse than anybody else, but like I don't know, just the way that I am, like it was like you gotta a, help someone. Remember out. Remember when I helped the kid that was floating away from his family on the raft? Yeah. And then yeah. the dad like thought I was like some apparently thought I was some sort of fucking molester or something because I pulled his kid back over that was floating out to sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'll just I'm never gonna not do that. No, you gotta, gotta. I, if we stop and we just film every mistake we see and don't help each other out, then no, uh, we're, we're doing. See that one. We're as good what's as that. funny is that one is not funny to me. It didn't know it isn't. Now, had like, his whole boat like rolled down an embankment and yeah. burst into flames, I might be laughing and say yeah. it, it really is. And that, that's just <laughs> an attest to me and how fucked up I am. Yeah, I, it's probably I do make a lot of mistakes, and this is some shit that I may uh, do in the future. <laughs> still, <laughs> like, yeah, like this. In could, my opinion, if you yeah. are so unself-aware that you don't realize when you're towing a fucking boat that you have to make sure it clears things then that's on you it, no, it's not my job to make sure you're not a fucking dumbass i, I, I can't disagree I, with that yeah, but i, I but help I, the yeah. help someone out mm. i would I, want yeah. somebody to help me yeah just tell you give you a heads up like hey you know don't just watch something like hey it's inevitable that this car is gonna a back brief in. Lapse yeah. of it can't judgment. be solved yeah. like, yeah. be like, i'm <laughs> brief <laughs> lapse of judgment how long was he sitting in that line yeah, i mean but, he, he may have thought about it you know what i mean that's it's, see that's on him absent mind you there's fucking signs that give you the exact message yeah, but, the but, but these, you're underestimating. Before you even get there, you're underestimating things that could happen. His old lady might be, you know, hypoglycemic and be like, "I need a milkshake now," and he's like, "All right, goddamn it!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's he going flustered. on. Yeah, yeah. His but, kid might yeah, be in the know. back. I'm hungry. You know, like I don't know what the fuck's happening See, there. And the rest of the qualified captain is like people just making fucking like uh, they're too drunk. They're running in the dock. They don't know how to drive the boat. Like all oh, that's funny and stuff. But this is just like I, don't, ah, I mean, I don't know. The lady. Is that not? I, I kind of. It's all the same to me. Well, no, because the other stuff, a lot of it's security camera footage and like people like, oh shit, this well, guy's like out yours. of control. Like yours. Yours was security camera yeah, 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 footage yeah, yeah. and you dumped all the stuff into the, yeah. the water. No one now, no one could have stopped that. No, 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 because that was just- a, If now, someone was standing on the dock videotaping you and I saw that footage, that would have been a dickhead. But that no, 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 that, no, you know, but that's you, fine but because I'm. He, he, they didn't see it coming. You know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, they were if just they, filming. It, like this oh, lady, all right, all right, this lady knew she could stop it. She's like, she even says it. She's like, this guy's about to make a terrible mistake. Why don't you help him not make a terrible yes. mistake instead of just letting him make a mistake and then put it up on and, the, then, and scream world right. star. So yeah, I understand yeah. that. What yeah. else we got here? Uh, uh, we got Maisie student info fight with Andrea. Oh, yeah. Just this is a quick one. It's uh, nothing makes me happier than when the teacher has my email address correct and Andrea's email address wrong. <laughs> and I get all of the 
emails and everything. And Andrea's like, where are you getting all of this? I had her student ID number. I logged her in. I did everything. Mm. Andrea's like, how are you doing this? And what did I say? Man, you must not really like your kids. <laughs> I mean, uh, who loves her the most? I mean, yeah, the guy that's getting everything done. Yeah, yeah. You have failed as a mother. I, uh, Jesus. I, what, they, they did that too when Tommy first started kindergarten. They it's were, all I, me. I was getting a lot of the info. Yeah, yeah. Which I, moms don't get it. And Andrew's like, where did you get it. that? I was like, don't worry about it. <laughs> When, Don't worry about it. I always feel a little bit of guilt when I, I pick up the automated call and they're like, hello, this is Seminole County Schools to tell you some important information about your child and then yeah. just hang up. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. But they call too many oh times. I know. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, I feel a little guilty just hanging up because they just said they're about to. But I know that it's the same old I'll do you one better. No, uh, but it's not. It's not well, the I same know old thing. The, Crystal will get it. They'll send the email. Yeah, they do like, both yeah, of yeah. you at the same time. It's like a yeah, robo yeah. call. Yeah, you yeah. guys are famously known for forgetting shit, like My special days at school where they're supposed yeah. to dress but up. But it's so long. And, okay. They go on. Remember COVID. when you said try it. and help people? Yeah. Well, am not I my own sons. Am I, I mean <laughs> you. I always try and help you, and you oh, ignore yeah. all my help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. why I don't fucking help anybody anymore. <laughs> am I oh, a bad guy? I, I, I might have all ripped off this <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> am I a bad guy for um, Maisie's principal? He did a Zoom, like a mm -hmm. like introduction to yeah. the principal. He's a new guy. He just came mm -hmm. into town. He's the new guy from out of state, and he came into town. Seems like a really nice guy. And he did a meet the principal Zoom call, and it started at like uh, 7 a couple nights ago. And I jumped in right when it was starting, and no one was in there, and it was just him. And he's like, well, I don't see anybody here. He's oh, like, no. oh, somebody popped in. I popped in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I did. I do that. Oh, I did. you should have sent I, I popped in, and he's like, well, I guess we're not going to have many people. Oh, now they're coming in. We had somebody pop in. I was like, oh. Oh, I you can see right me. I, I was like, "Fuck, man, I don't want to." I, I do that when people are doing their podcast live on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what is that? You and told that, me. I do that it, too. And they're like, I've done all. They're of like, them. "Hey, Tom, Tom's here." And they all, I'm the oh. only one. I'm like, "Fuck, I oh. can't get out now." I have to like, and then I just leave it on. And yeah. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> but but and then Patricio's I don't, I don't like, this guy's been watching for five <laughs> years. <laughs> no, I don't want him to feel bad that I leave because then they'll know that. Like I went in there and I left. So, I was like, Fuck. so you just designate the laptop to it. You can never yeah. go back to but it. But just know if you see me in your podcast chat, I'm not watching. No, he is. no he is not. I am uninterested no, he's not. at anything you say. <laughs> it is not he's guilted into leaving it on. It was not about gambling or my interest. <laughs> nah, not interested. <laughs> You're talking to me like, okay, I do this all the time. I'm not interested. Uh, All right, you? what about the goodbye song? Well, we're going to do that because it's about time for us to get out of here, right? So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do the goodbye song. What is this? It? Every day, this is what me and my daughter sing. And uh, we're going to start doing this as a tradition on the show. Okay. This, I figured we could all sing this and leave, and this is what we're going to do. With Lee? Mm -hmm. What's that now? Nothing. With Lee, yes, with <laughs> Lee. Live. Live from we're the zooming. UK. <laughs> it's Lee. It's time to go home. Oh, yeah. It's time to go home. It's chicken can sing. It's time to go home. It's time to say goodbye. I had so much fun. Did you have fun today, guys? The show I was did. good, right? You had so much fun. I think the listeners had fun. It's the perfect we way to end the show so from now on. Much fun. And now we say goodbye. 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 Goodbye, 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 see you again. I'm in. So Maisie plays this mm -hmm. every single night or afternoon when she's done with school. Oh. This song is nine and a half minutes long. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, and don't, even get, don't even get me started on. Don't even get me started on the good morning heaven. song. <laughs> oh, my God. The good morning song rolls through 25 times before I come to work. I'm like, God damn. Remy's podcast intro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Anyway, there's the goodbye song. So uh, I enjoyed it. I I like it. Me and May sing it a lot. But uh, but hey, mm. what else we got? One more. We got one more. Uh, uh, Bart Merrick team thumbs up. No, nope, we're uh, not doing that not one. Doing we'll that end one. on the goodbye song. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll yeah. do that one later. Mm. Anything to plug for everybody? Um, let's see. Uh, Travis, we got the. Uh, 
Sugar Works. Sugar Works Distillery. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's yeah. brain just stopped. Oh. Yeah, Sugar Works Distillery. Oh. We got the uh, Shark Bite name. Whiskey. Uh, what are us, Walter? I knew the, the name. From just, all of us here at... I'm trying to remember what, the promotion. Uh, There's too many goddamn promotions. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh. remember them all. Yeah. Promotions? <laughs> Well, Sugar I mean, Works got two going on. They got mm. the uh, Shark Bite whiskey with their uh, shirt and uh, pint glass. Also, get Kalalisa Creek with uh, their whiskey as well. You get the shot, um, the shot glass with the hand sanitizer. That's still going on as well. Oh, nice. So, mm. all while uh, supplies last. Got some right yeah. here. Here is some Sugar Works hand sanitizer. Yeah, I, you could also swing by uh, Hollow Box mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, and then pick up uh, your pint glass, your BDM pint glass, if you buy anything. anything. from the Magnolia yeah. Square Market, yeah. which is the Hollerbach uh, Deli. Anything yeah, from and they, they got the outfitters, everything. too, where you can get, like, clothing right next door to that. Yep. and, you know, like... Get your yeah. later hose in. Yeah, or, uh, you get all nice kinds head. of crazy yeah. stuff. And then, like, I saw Tracy, Party Patch Tracy, uh, she went and got her pint glass, then went over to Sunshine State Threads. Yeah, that's attached she did to, the whole Sanfording yeah. tour. She did it all, and yeah. That, that shirt, I need one of those. Yeah, Tom and Dan love Sanford. Song. Are they open to Mara? Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm going to be out there tonight, so I'll pick you up one. Okay, if you don't mind. Yeah, just snag a large. Yeah, I got you, dude. Um, so, uh, you could, you know, go grab all that stuff. Also, semantics. Who's yeah, on, who's this on weekend? the show tonight? Oh, so, well, actually, we're recording tomorrow. So, if you want us to send an email, it's tomorrow, show at yeah. semanticspodcast.com. We're going to have our buddy Dan Grun, Ooh. who's also a BDM, and Chris Fisher from the BYOCB Whoa, podcast. Oh, that's right. going to get grown. Two curmudgeonal men. <laughs> yeah. That'd be wow. fun. Mm. You know, that, I think those two guys with the addition of my husband. <laughs> Of your well, that too, but like, man, I say you you sprinkle in Tom Van. I dude, you have hit peak anger, grumpy old dad. <laughs> I just had a falling down moment. I'm getting more like, I I care less about stuff, mm. and you care more about stuff. Well, because you have uh, eased into uh, you know creating less stress in your life, and uh, you know, and that is like, hey, how do I live my life with the least amount of stress, which is healthy for you? Uh, yeah, well, I was like telling you this morning, like I'm, in, I got an SUV now. I'm enjoying driving slower. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, you know, like yeah. even if I'm running late, I'm like, I used to get all fuck, like fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm just like, fuck it. Mm, yeah. I'm just like I'm just, slow. I was piling on myself, and then uh, seeing how much I could take. Telling and, you, uh, I can't it, take uh, it. <laughs> pretty soon. Uh, oh yeah, it's coming to get you. <laughs> uh, we good? We're waggling at the traffic. <laughs> 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 this is your fault, Bob. I had somebody, uh, my wife, text me uh, and say um, that my exchange of, of gunplay with an old man in, in traffic was uh, disturbing to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. I kind of regret it. Yeah, yeah. You have a sleepy here tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's right. always nice to have a studio. All right, BDMs, we appreciate it. And uh, we will see you. Bye-bye.